this to enslave. She wants to have sex with him. I don't want to have sex with little people. No, no okay. But, you know, I'm more interested in a kingly way yeah. where I like to make them entertain for me. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's totally okay. But we have a Eat frosting off of cakes while they there like There might be something seriously on. wrong with both of you. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> I would really love to see two little men wrestle on top of a giant birthday cake. Of white <laughs> oh my god, a five tier. Uh huh, five tier cake. Five tier yeah. cake, Bobby. Okay. How are uh, they gonna stand up there? What is it like, King oh, of the Hill? Okay. Who gets pushed off the top? How do you stand on the? I'm gonna call it the five Tyrion Lannister. Oh my god. Yeah, they're gonna fall through the. They're cake. gonna slip and slide all the time. They're gonna fall right it through the cake. It starts with like eight of them, maybe. And then like they King just, of the Ring, but yeah, with, the, with the their wedding cake. Exactly, oh Bobby. God. Bobby loves it too. Oh, I Sure I, I can beautiful. see it. I, I love it. See it. You can see it. You would go to like a, at a strip club. You know, we'll charge three dollars a ticket to watch it. Dive in. Yeah, we should host our own. Actually, well, if you guys our, would I mean, be interested in that for like a John Day live stream charity thing. Yeah, uh, you know, all proceeds go to the Boulder Police Department. Everybody loves uh, to do it. We are not. We are not doing anything against anybody's will. <laughs> midgets wrestling on a wedding. We're cake. gonna get a donated well, cake, donated midgets, midgets. little people, right? little people is little. We don't little say midgets. not dwarf. You don't say midgets. No, and they're definitely not elves. <laughs> no, no, yeah, they're, they're not gonna be elves. They don't have the weird ears. They're not magical. Like no, they're that. not. Well, elves aren't real. A little person isn't. Is Wait, a, Donna, I need you to know. When, oh no. Back in the medieval, hey, the right, there were there were little people in the 1400s. The, <laughs> the Egyptians. Convinced it was the leprechaun. There was a leprechaun. Oh, me, oh, great. Why, why like, that's probably yeah. why you guys are so chummy. Yeah. Well, she had her doubts at first. Like she was she was in a state of shock, Bobby, okay. because not everybody gets the warmth of a seal leprechaun like Donna did. Right. Yeah. And two, ever you know disrespect or dis or, or, or you know or, uh, upset a leprechaun like Donna did. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Donna, you were clearly that wasn't a leprechaun. That was Teddy. You were kidnapped. It I love man. the amount of denial you're in. Hey, whatever. It went me and it went scrap from under the bridge with the orange hair growing out of his scabs. <laughs> it wasn't either one of us. Uh, you had scrap involved too. No, scrap was not involved. Yeah, just, you just he said was that. not swinging from the pipes. No, he was not. No, he was, not, it was a leprechaun. Donna, That's right, Donna. Anyway, well, so we, again, welcome back to John Benet today, hey, where everybody. we are losing credibility by the second. Oh yeah, uh, are we recording? We're playing. People involved with this podcast apparently Hi, uh, believe in lovely. elves, so please take Anything whatever we possible. say seriously. When, when the magic comes back, the little people get their magic back. Then they're elves. Oh my god. And I'd rather be on the good side. I mean, I want to. I mean, because it's a matter of time. It's just. It's right. like. Mm. It's like a polar shift. Sometimes they got magic. Sometimes they don't. Right. You know, have I have a heard of a dundee in in, in, in Mexico? A you dundee? Know? Yeah. Like crocodile? Yeah, like crocodile. He used to hunt that all the time. He used to hunt these little people in the in the rainforest all the time. <laughs> That's not true. That's exactly how he died. Did you see those movies? They Are you talking him. about Steve Irwin? Steve Irwin, Crocodile like, Bambi. Crocodile Hunter. Oh. I was getting confused on account of the fact that the old Oh, but Steve Irwin, you're saying died uh, hunting elves, which is not true. He was stung well, by, he was stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> All right, you got your sources, I got mine. This is, again, losing credibility by the second, folks. Yeah. Welcome back to your own. I'm not saying it again. The stumped. one reliable true crime podcast. Yeah, we get down to the bottom of it. Where we believe in elves and... Uh, and leprechauns. Hey, anything's possible. Anything's exactly right, Donna, including in the murder of a precious little angel. Nope. Elves are not involved in that. Elves, uh, maybe Let's elves. Keep those discussions. Separate. I mean, it was <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> it was Christmas night. What do you think? Is an elf. Uh, what if there were times where, like, what if some of the elves didn't get back on the sleigh in time? They were panicked in a state of delirium. The, even the amount of o oxygen in the air was different, and they, in their ma in their hysteria, co co collectively worked together, like standing on top of each other yep. inside trench coats and shit. And they and they cut fucking they kicked her. They, that's right. they, they, and that's what you guys that's what we're doing right now. Her. Guys, that's what this is right now. We're doing the elves did it episode. Elves did it. <laughs> so <laughs> so buckle up. Yeah. Yeah, buckle up. You buckle. thought you knew this case? Yeah, uh, you didn't you know shit. Yeah. We're checking all the angles. We're checking all the angles. We're participating the in the unsubscribe yeah. challenge. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> this farm ain't gonna have this coop ain't gonna have one chicken not licked. Oh my well, god. I'm like, I'm gonna Give us well, happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. It's we're, Easter. We're recording part of this on Easter. So. Did you decorate mm -hmm. eggs? Did I decorate my eggs? I'm not legally allowed to have eggs for uh, until my probation's over. Oh, I can't. I'm not allowed to touch them, at least. Oh, if I eat them, they can't tell if I can eat them, if I can eat them. But that's a different thing, because yeah. I'm not eating no eggs. And don't think I am. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, 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 see, it, 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 eggs are a gateway drug to beans. And I've been going through a bangway draw just on account of some of my violence oh, and stuff. <laughs> some of the court ordered things I gotta do. I and I'm not supposed to have eggs. I'm not supposed to have anything that has like any sort of yeast 
any sort of um, sugar, high fructose corn syrup. Like the proteins or uh, the, protein? No the, protein. No. What the? Why would you be court ordered not to eat these things? What are you talking about? Because it, my body, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, digest them. <laughs> Joe, just tell you that, Daddy. I think you're having another fever dream because there's no fucking way you went to court. Oh, I have never gone to court. <laughs> I mean, a court, a court ordered bean restraining order is not. Oh. I'm not the first person to get a bean restraining order, Bobby. And you won't be the last. No. Nah, so, uh, not probably relapse. This is episode 15. 15. <laughs> episode one five. 15, excuse and me. And it's Jesus' birthday it or not, a rebirthday. Nope, nope. It's, it's the his, day that he came out of the, uh, out the of his hiding spot and he was like, oh. This is the, di- is the day when he was like, you know, I like sucking well. He David blamed day. everybody. Oh, yeah. The first magician. Yeah, rebirthday. I like that. The rebirthday. I fucking said that. I <laughs> That's really good, Donna. That was really good. No, you said it. No. Unbirthday. Oh wow! You know what? I think I, I Donna. I think I saw someone outside, a leprechaun or a Jesus or something. You should go check it out. Is that your ride? Is that your ride? Uh, Jesus Christ! That's doesn't. pathetic. Well, okay. All right. Okay. Well, Donna said if she ever disappeared, I would get a car, and everybody heard that, right? No, oh. Donna. Uh, I didn't necessarily. Oh my God! She this is that. so pathetic. She what have you that. done no, to her? She, uh, no, 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 no. If he's letting letting you drink stuff, don't do it. Like, don't drink anything from Teddy. Listen. Check the Speaking seal. of which, if it's Easter, where's the ham, Bobby? Where's the ham? Yeah, I thought you'd been making something something to eat for Easter. Why didn't you fucking bring me a ham? I don't know. Bring you a ham, Donna. Yeah. Why where's the ham? Why do I gotta feed you? What are you talking about? You came with her. I had it at mom and dad's. You had a ham? Yeah, I had some ham at mom and dad's. Oh my god. Like you gosh. ate ham, or are you saying? I no, ate. she had ham. Oh, you ate and ham. She didn't give us no ham. Oh, okay. okay. I don't care. I don't care. I only had a little bit of leftovers. All right, no, it's fine. I mean, I'm sorry. Honestly, guys, nobody's worried about it. So, uh, except for Teddy. And I don't give a shit about feeding Teddy right now. Well, I just thought I I'd get to taste some ham. Well, bring me ham. I'm not, well. Actually, I'm, if you brought me ham, I wouldn't trust that. <laughs> it'd be like loose or something. Or like you'd have it loose in a Kroger okay. bag. I got no, it. No, it'd be loose uh-huh. in a Kroger bag and there'd be a bunch of juices that it's like, I put a bunch of, he's like, don't worry, I already did two cans of Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Like it's fine. Yeah. It's frozen. So <laughs> <laughs> you guys know me so well. I love you. It's true. Love and I mean, too, maybe like a couple that I had Dr. Pepper. All right. Well, hey, episode 15. After the results of our poll, uh-huh. you know, it really indicated that John was the, uh, you know, the main person that people think did it. He had the plurality of votes. Yeah, from it, the from the Reddit poll, and uh, so we really wanted to explore that. And uh, how did John kill his daughter, John Bonet? Exactly. Yeah. Or did he? No. We're looking at basically just him doing. Donna, you're so fucking shut up. Shut, no, stupid, stop shut up. Come, no, shut Teddy, up. I'm stupid. Come on. You shut up. You stupid All bitch. Right. I like that you guys were fine. You know, you guys were just fine. That was great. So no, I'm, it's I'm just saying that she's not made out to be on the radio. She's because she's fine when she's doing other things like <laughs> dating little people. And give me rides to places. I don't think she said she actually dated little people. She's it's just, just that I find her annoying when she actually starts talking. She's just open to it. So you like, haven't been really But that's not impressive. It's just I find you annoying to the depths of my fucking soul whenever you open your mouth. Oh, my God. All right. Anyway, All right. let's keep going. So we're looking at how, we're looking at if Easter. John did it, how he did it. It's like that OJ book. Like uh, If I did. If I did do it. Yeah. If I did do it. If Maybe did he do it. Cover. Did P. Yeah. Diddy, P. Diddy killed Kim P. Basinger? P. P. Oh, wow. P. Diddler. P. Diddler. Oh, my God. The bit. The diddler on the roof. some scandal in the news? The yeah. diddler on the roofie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like? We'll be right back. No, nah, that, that more is less pedophilic. That's oh, yeah. more Fiddler. More Fiddler. I think Pete Diddler's good. <laughs> well, I mean, God, Pete Diddler. Pete, uh, Pete Diddler. And he definitely got Justin Bieber. Did you see they got like another video? I've seen. They, they, well, they got two now. Oh, And it's no. like the follow-up. Where Pete Diddy's like, he's like, hey, man. He's like, so you got all big doing concerts now, and you ain't been calling me back. What's been going on? Oh, and my God. Like, oh, well, just like, I thought your people would reach out. Uh. And like. And it's just like a whole, like, Terrifying. the vibe is like, it's because that 48 hours I spent with you was the worst experience of my entire life. Oh, and my God. I, I bet. saw things that, like, I like, I bet you yeah. he's like their introduction to the Illuminati. Like, so what's up? You want in? I know. <laughs> like, I, think, that's I, it. Like, I think it's something like that. That's what they were talking about, where it's like, but he had these parties. P. Dead, like, was having these parties where, hey, what, like, they, they get drugged and they, ha- and, then, and then they have sex. <laughs> and a lot of times, like, the people woke up afterwards and they're like, oh, I was completely naked. Apparently, there's cameras know. everywhere. Too. And there's cameras everywhere. See, in that's the what bathroom. I'm and you know what? There was, I forget who, if it was, it was on the podcast or not, but yeah. one of the things I always thought with the Jeffrey Epstein thing is like, uh-huh. sure, they got him, but it's like, there's definitely other people. There's definitely us. That are doing oh God, that yeah. same thing uh, yeah. and it's like boom cameras in his mansions and stuff yeah allegedly allegedly oh it's like that time in that nightclub when jennifer aniston's or no 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 lopez no, lopez j-lo j-lo who which can she sing i don't even know if she can actually really sing. who gives a shit she can't act either she can't, i know and she's kind honestly of a, she's as long as she's still doing good like you know money wise Good for her. Good for her. Good for her for doing a thing and for the amounts of like I don't know self fulfillment. I remember, remember the movie Enough being a thing oh, yeah. where it's like 
uh, seen it in theaters and it was like she's just like a, there's a very extended part in the beginning where she just like they just watch her go sit down and like piss Oh my and, god! And it's like, I don't know if this was uh, like the like the, it's the domestic mean, abuse movie. And I'm like, I don't know. What was. He like makes her. He just like there's a scene where she's just peeing in a toilet. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like, uh, and he's I don't know if he's supposed to be like, hey, this is why he this does it. Edgy. Like, uh, oh. no, I don't. He's even, like, he doesn't even. Yeah, it's like, hey, here's J Lo peeing. Yeah. But it's also a chance for us to like, yeah, this is what J Lo sounds. It was like just a weird. Pees. I just it's this always stuck. I was trying to think of J Lo movies. Uh huh. You yeah, know, I also remember sure. that movie. The, they they talk about like, oh, the book Atlas Shrugged. It's like it's the longest book in the world. Uh, who? Uh, in the diner that she works at, when she's talking to the guy or somebody, they're reading. A, he's reading in Atlas enough? Shrugged. Yes, in enough. Oh my god! I didn't know you saw it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and I remember going, oh, the longest book in the world is Atlas Shrugged by Ayn Rand. <laughs> Because J Lo's enough told me, and that's, that's why hilarious. I read it. That's hilarious. That was before. Wow, I read it. We both have two core memories from that. Education. What is your core memory from enough? Yeah, or Donna. actually, any of the viewers too. If you guys have a core yeah. memory from enough, please put it in the comments. What is your, yeah? Well, your most <laughs> beloved. Don't flood us with like paragraphs, because <laughs> I know that's not gonna be. There could be multiple beloved moments from enough. Two thousand two is enough for Jennifer Lopez. I mean, he, we, 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 we were, were healing. Uh, we were healing <laughs> a nation, right. reeling from the devastating food. terrorist attacks of nine eleven. We needed, a solid, we needed a solid domestic abuse thriller featuring Jennifer Aniston. We had terrorists watching <laughs> us pee. Pee, pee. Like we're in America. Like uh huh. We may pee sitting down, but we kill standing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what America. we need to tell. America. God damn it. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez. So you know what? No matter what. We commend you for healing our country. Yeah, and it's time when we really need to know. It's not through your music, but through scenes where women are peeing for no reason. It's really, really distracting. Where I forgot Al Qaeda uh -huh. existed. One hundred percent, Bobby. I mean, the, 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 there's so many choices an actor could make, make in how they pee, how the pee sounds, how it dribbles. I don't it, think that was her. That was probably all Foley. Oh, so yeah, respect right. to the Foley's. But out even there. then, there's so many muscles in the face that make different subtle things that happen when we are relieving ourselves, and oftentimes. We're the only ones who see yeah, it. Yeah, but if you're going to show her for peeing first thing in the morning, put in the little, <laughs> like the, well, just yeah. the little fire sound. Well, I'm sure that's a Like if you're already doing cut. the scene, you're trying to be edgy, like yeah. throw a little levity in there. That's She's in about the, to get her ass beat. That's I mean, in the distant movie. I don't think it was a laugh. Like, okay, well. Well, yeah. this is why Bobby didn't direct, didn't direct enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not, you got to be good enough to direct. I would have called it almost enough. Almost enough. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like Kate Hudson, but with a, an airplane lands on me. <laughs> Almost enough runway. No, she lands the airplane. Kay Hudson lands the husband, airplane. Her husband's an abusive pilot. <laughs> <laughs> who flies yeah, the Kay Hudson getting yeah. slapped by Denzel Washington in the in the cockpit. Yeah. That's and then, a great movie, Flight. And, and she plays Sully. Yeah. There you go. She lands, she lands in the lands Hudson River. She lands on the Kay Hudson she River. Safely. She's got some problems, but don't we all? Don't we all? And at the end of the day, you know, the the pea's going to gland in the bowl. And it's one of those things where sometimes... You have to even I don't necessarily think with Jar Ramsey that I'm not I don't know that he did it. But I wanna take the time to maybe go, wait, let me stop hearing how my pee pees. Mm -hmm. Let me hear how J Lo pees. Yeah. And and let me see what the possibilities wow. of right. the peas if is. It's, if it's yellow, let it mellow. Let it mellow. If okay. it's clear, right. stand rear right. and against Richard Gear. Sure. Yeah, bend over for Richard Gear. Yeah, we've well, been there before. I, mean, I didn't think I was a rule. I'm just I, saying. No, I don't think you're wrong either. Uh, Richard Gere would appreciate it. <laughs> so, hey, before we jump into the episode, yeah. uh, I think before we do like our intro and stuff, uh -huh. I think we should uh, d bring up a little news that's came up. Looks like John Ramsey is going to be attending uh, this year's Crime Con. John Ramsey's going to Crime Con in Tennessee. Saw that. Yeah, this it's gonna year. Be like, yeah, it's like May or something it's, like that. It's at like Memorial Weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. But like, yeah, we saw the post and it was just like a thing where I was like, I know Paula Woodward's going to be there. Yeah. Because that's they do the panels together. And it's like, yeah. sure enough, if you scroll down the page, there she is on the bottom. Paula. It's like, you know, they're going to do it together. Paula. But we're going to try to go. Who's so Paula again? We're going to try to go. Who's Paula? Who? Paula Abdul's. Paula Woodward. Paula Woodward. She's like a, you know, a respected, and that's in air quotes, yeah. uh, journalist who... Uh, Basically, is a, a intruder did it theory person who follows Ramsey around with him, and he oh, doesn't have Patsy wow. anymore. So, oh wow! Yeah. So she's the bulldog that goes. Rah, 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 rah. It was a rapist. It was a pedophile who came yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I even say with an intruder theory? She, How'd they she's get in basically the house? like a walking YouTube commenter that's like on the Ramsey side. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like just following people around when it's like, oh yeah, well. 
You guys should really look into this guy, because... Paula Webb, Webb, you are incorrigible. You are. And I'm, <coughs> hey, you know what? Respect for getting paid. Just like J-Lo. Yeah. And all that stuff. So I think we should we should get started. When we come back, we're going to be exploring... Uh, we got an interview for you guys with uh, one of the one of the people that we ended up finding on Reddit. That was a John Hennett person. So we're going to get a perspective. Okay. Yeah, hey. Betty didn't fucking make it. Donna, well, no. Oh, Donna you're talking about that thing that other day. Yeah, it's all right. Donna, it's Donna's fault. Oh, it is? Wait, wait are you guys like living I together? I told you to do laundry, no. Oh my God, are you guys living together? I said, you put those clothes on wet, we gotta go. Oh my God. Oh my God. God. I cannot do that. And then, I'm sorry, you just didn't so make it at all? Stupid. <laughs> no, I didn't make it. What's the rest of that story? Well, there, there, let's not go there. We're having a good moment. Yeah, let's please, yeah. There. Don't give me a reason for why no, I did this good. interview alone. It's totally cool. Yeah. But she no, was it's thinking a- I was trying to sell things out, out of a house. <laughs> Hey, on the on the internet. So it's not just the wet clothes as thing. As long as I get a cut, it's fine. Well, see, but that's the thing. She, so you guys are living together. I think you guys need to make this. Yeah, play. well, well, she offered. What? You know, she offered well, to hey, have I'm me good. there because she doesn't feel safe. Glad to see and you. I'm. And she said, I'm. I'm a little. I'm a little rabid. So she felt like I would in, at least. You know, I can protect you from an intruder because intruder probably hurt me though. They'll probably right. come with there for me. So I was <laughs> like, yeah, I will absolutely. I don't get to sleep in a bed or on the couch, like, but I got a really nice spot on a on a rug. Mm-hmm. And oh, that's good. Well, a couple pillows. Like, I think anything's an upgrade. Cases, anything's Bobby. an upgrade. So everything's an upgrade from, yeah. from being under the under good on the you, Donna. You date midgets. Yeah. Your house, Teddy. As I'm sure this is not going to end terribly for anybody. Mother no. Teresa. And you know what? I heard that the Ramsey house still hasn't sold. By the way, so yeah, they, yeah, they, I would almost just love to move in there. Maybe am I? It's like put it out in the universe. Let's you know? do it. Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. Can I rent NBC manifest. What? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I turn it into a nice Airbnb. Airbnb. Uh huh. God, that would actually, yeah. I mean, that's actually I weird as fuck. Now, all right. Well, hey, let's get it started. You guys ready? I'm ready. Though. All right. Well, hey, welcome back, Donna. Happy Easter, everybody. Well, I'm I'm, I'm Bobby Pavlovsky. Rabbit, rabbit. Wait, what do rabbits say? They don't say rabbit, rabbit. No, that's no, frogs. They say, but what, what does rabbit? What does rabbit say? What's it? Yeah. Ba- is it rabbit? Yeah. 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 That's why they sound like when they're getting killed. Yeah. When they're getting killed. I only know what they sound like when they're getting killed. That rabbit sounds like... That's the only time they make sounds when they're dying. Yeah. Oh, my God. They only sad. It's so poetic. I thought they were singing songs. Oh, you... Oh, my God. It might be because of all the Roundup I pour on them. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. All right. I'm Bobby Pavlovsky. And I'm Daddy Ronald Reagan. This is And this is... John Benet. Oh, fuck. What I'm sorry, fuck? I forgot. I forgot. It's okay. I what forgot. The absolute fuck? I'm not so sorry. Are you been I, drinking okay. Roundup too? I'm not, I mean, I was drinking a little Roundup. I was drinking right now. Okay. Well, you want to let's start it over, okay? I didn't mean to about you guys. No, please. Take three. All right. I'm Bobby Pavlovsky. And I'm Teddy Ronald Reagan. This is right here. And this is John Benet today. <laughs> It's a 15th episode. 15th episode, and we're looking at we're looking no, at if idiot. John. 15, God, I hate when she talks. I hate when she breathes. All right. we're, okay, okay, we're looking at the. It's 15th episode. We're looking at John Ramsey. How did he do it? If he did it, yes, and, we are. And we got an interview also. The a, murderer. Yeah, allegedly. No, not the murderer. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well, yeah, everyone's well, a suspect. Today's a murderer. Everyone's a suspect. Everyone's a fucking suspect, even Al Gore. And uh, I don't know if uh, you know if you want to do your thing since I don't know if you saw what time it is, but oh, that's right. Right, Bobby. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, to- everyone, to John, John Benet today, tonight. tonight. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I love the saxophone, the Bobby. Is good. Makes my nipples perk right up like huh? I'm, well, I'm gonna Florence stop using Henderson it. I'll on stop using it then. Pine Salt Don't Day. Don't tell me that shit. No, no. Pi- Florence Henderson would love to have her nipples erect again, but she's dead. So I do it in her honor. What are you talking about? I don't think she. Anyway, oh, we are talking anyway, about John, John Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah. Right. Oh, I love it, Mr. Senior John. You know the guy that you know. Mm-hmm. I guess a pillar of the community, but whatever. The, but yeah, yeah. He is the, uh, um, you know, the guy in the middle of a Othel- uh, not a fellow in the tempest. He's the guy who's like who makes the storms. And you know, no, he no me. that's way too much credit for this meek little bitch. But uh, he's like Storm, Aurora Monroe. <laughs> yeah, John Ramsey is the Aurora Monroe of the X Men. Right. 
So uh, we wanted to we wanted to start off real quick though. First, talking about some John Ramsey stuff that uh, oh. one of our, our Patreon members, E4, is here. Brought to our attention. E4 is here. Very smart person. Very smart person. Very love you. Thank you so much for being a member, and you know for also bringing this to our attention because this is hilarious, and it's about the subject right. of. Uh, tonight's episode so this is like a little segment of again of you know stuff we miss over the years oh. we're always unearthing little gems well it's like that's the thing we have amazing um uh followers and listeners and uh collaborators right so in 2001 uh the ramses were in the middle of a lawsuit with this journalist chris wolf oh, right? i'm just kidding bobby right. bobby i just can't yeah he wasn't that was pretty funny that was that pretty funny yeah yeah and just diamond. before that trial started, okay, John comes home and there's a burglar supposedly in his house. This is in his Atlanta home, okay? And not a hamburglar. No. <laughs> not a, a man looking for hamburgers, a man looking for Have other you ever encountered the hamburglar? I mean, you yeah. know, there's, there's, honestly though, that'd be great. Though. I was once on If a it was the hamburglar. I saw I saw I've seen Grimace. I've seen Grimace in the bushes. He was jerking off to me. What do oh. any of those guys sound like? Do they have a talk? Um, Grimace. He, I was gonna do a hamburger voice, cries. and I realized it's nothing. He just cries. <laughs> His mouth when he opens it, it's just crying sounds. Yeah. I was like, yeah. when he's talking, like it doesn't. He's yeah. what? A single tear falls out of the Yeah, head. yeah. I mean, he is a tear. That's he, what he is. He, he's Grimace a is a tear. Yeah. Purple tear. Uh -huh. Purple tear. No. Purple rain. Holy shit! Purple he rain. solved what Grimace is. Grimace, purple rain. Grimace is purple rain. Uh huh. First, you guys heard it here first. <laughs> Holy shit. Grimace is Prince. <laughs> no, Whoa. that's not what we're saying. Oh, We're saying that Purple Rain is about Grimace, or Grimace is a representation of Purple Rain. We got to oh, fact check what years this Purple Rain. Out. Grimace is Purple Rain. I get it now. I understand, Bob. Mm -hmm. But what does it have to do with John Ramsey? Not oh, like that God John Ramsey thing. is the hamburger of... Yes, absolutely. I have not seen the hamburger yet, <laughs> but this was a different hamburger. Burglar. Yeah, was I was going to say, what happened to John Hansey? I was not the one that took this off the rails. No, I took it off the rails, and I take full responsibility. So in 2001, Bobby, just, you love me. It, in 2001, just before a deposition with a journalist, John Ramsey comes home, uh -huh. and he finds a burglar in his house, supposedly. Getting burgled. He's standing in the kitchen, and John Ramsey describes it as a black man, like 6'2". Does he? Uh, he's holding two bags. John's like, hey, what are you doing here? And the guy's like, I'm a worker. And then John says a scuffle and sued. A and then it's somehow John ends up locked in a closet. That oh he ends up breaking out of because he says it wasn't secured that much, but he basically just wanted to wait. Was he in his he, just wanted, he says he just wanted to wait it out until a guy left. That's so it was anything of like he couldn't break. <laughs> 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 he was so he like supposedly scuffled, or the guy was just like, get in the fucking closet, man. And he's like, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna... but, but then he calls the cops and he says, but yeah, like it was just like a laptop and stuff got stolen. Did he get a uh, black eye? He Did, said there was a black guy? I don't know. Oh, black, black guy. guy. Black guy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry. what I found interesting out of all of the uh, things, because he also got a, like a gun uh, stolen, a shotgun stolen from him. Yeah. It was broken down in a leather carrying case. Um, oh. But also, there was a John Ramsey also said he was missing papers, namely aircraft logs that were in one of the bags that the suspect what? carried out. Now, aircraft logs would actually be very interesting to see in this case. I mean, and just before this deposition, which this deposition was to basically this journalist that kept saying that Patsy did it kind of thing and was saying like the Ramses were involved. Right. And so in order for this journalist to win this like, uh, you know, libel suit or defamation suit. Wolf, right. Chris Wolf. Yeah. He had to prove Patsy did it. So he was trying in his court case, oh. in his defamation case to prove this woman committed murder. Oh, yeah. We saw some of those deposition oh. videos. I yeah. remember that. So whether or not some of this stuff was a part of stuff that was supposed to be a part of it, I don't know. That's just pure speculation. But pure I just thought it was interesting that was on there. But it's also interesting that it happens right before this thing where it's like, oh, this right makes before. you look like, look, with these these fanatics, you know. Yeah, that's absolutely bizarre. Wouldn't that happen again, Bobby? This wasn't... is in 2001. 2001, around September 11th. Right. And they asked him about stuff where oh, basically, basically like how they broke in. And he found out that the guy basically just like, he <laughs> they, they questioned him and <laughs> they say that like, but you... What is it right here? Hold on. Basically, that he had set up the house. He was remodeling the house to make it really safe. Obviously, following you know this stuff with your daughter, and oh, yeah. they're like, so they thought they did a really good job. But he's saying that well, unfortunately, we had to put a door in the basement, which is what the guy broke down. Which was uh, he's saying it was only because it was code, is what he mentions in the interview. He's like, only because they had code, so we had to put a basement door in there. Oh, and they're like, wow, what do you think could have done differently? He's like, I don't know, like a concrete door or what is it, a metal door? What? But also now I'm saying this out loud, and I'm like. Is this John Ramsey trying to fight Atlanta Code? 
Oh, <laughs> Where is this about the deposition? Like, <laughs> is this a, where he's like, look at this. John Ramsey moved in and he's like fighting. Because again, I, you know, I'm like, I needed to make something that was going to fucking protect me against <laughs> somebody just coming into my house. And well, they made, no, it was just he had a thing with a contractor <laughs> that really annoyed him where they're like, no, I'm sorry, man. We got to put a door in. And he's like, well, you're going to, I'm going to fuck fight, you. I'm going to fight this. Uh huh. And then he's just like, hey, he calls the contractor. Look, a black man yeah. came in through that door you made me install. Yeah. And I now, didn't, now I'm going to sue you. Yeah. Like, mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, and that could be it too, because I don't put it, you know, past him. Where he's just like, he's like, I can use the media for anything. <laughs> I mean, and he has he used he it for many. Very things. much has. And also, yeah, thank you again. E four is here. That's yeah, fascinating. Yeah, cool. And also, we're gonna have him on a future episode to just uh, chat about that because he brought it to our attention. So yeah. we really want to talk to him. And I mean, those aircraft it. logs would have just been something that really would have uh, made a difference because just like phone records, we don't get to see the mm -hmm. air log, aircraft logs. Because exactly. John Ramsey had a private plane. We're talking about aircraft logs of his planes. You know what I mean? Didn't he have to? Well, it doesn't say. I mean, it doesn't specify. It, I mean, it doesn't specify, but we're also not talking about a pilot. He right. owns a private plane. So it's one of those things of like, and if this is relating to the John Bonet case, it's relating to the fact that on the day of, John Bonet was trying to reach, or John Bonet. <laughs> I'm right. just kidding. She was dead. But John Ramsey mm -hmm. was trying to get a hold of his private plane pilot mm -hmm. Enrique Martinez no that wasn't his name mm -hmm. and uh, he was trying to get him to change the uh, the the manifest he was trying to change where they he were going to go he wanted to go to Atlanta because he wanted to get I, for me I believe he wanted to get in touch with his lawyers like he wanted Possibly. to be back with Atlanta I think lawyers. so too yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that and that's also where his home base is mm -hmm. but originally they were planned to go to Lake Schmabra in Chevrolet. Michigan yeah and so there was already, so he's trying to call the guy. So he then puts in a different amount of fuel and just has, a, you know, is able to, you know, knows the knots and all that shit. <laughs> but basically it's not a matter of like, oh, but what was his plane ticket with, with, you know, United. Mm -hmm. It's about, no, on that day, there were flight logs or things leading up or things that were shortly after us. Mm -hmm. And he wanted that shit to be gone. It almost also sounded like Possibly. that was he not I mean, it's like, John that's, Ramsey. that's just, He's got that's speculation. That, that, that could have right been a part of it. before they were about to do that trial that was about the guy trying to get exactly. information about those days. It's all speculation, but people don't know that fact and it's our job to interpret yeah, it. Yeah, I've always been interested. Speculation. I've always been interested. I really want to see. You know what I mean? I, yeah, because I really want to see the flight logs because it's the thing where you've talked about with the John Andrew Ramsey stuff too. Where it's a thing of like, you know, when did they start flying over yeah. that day? Like, when did yeah. they arrive in Colorado? Like, when did they, you know, depart? Like, because they went to Minnesota. So it's like a thing of like, supposedly oh. the family plane went and picked them up, too. Oh, wow. And there's a point in time where they had two family planes. See, they had two planes. So, but, you know, if that was relevant, that would the be Ramsey's interesting. The Ramsey's had a lot of money. They that would look really suspicious planes. right before a deposition where they're like, hey, this stuff it we is asked suspicious. you to turn. Well, I'm just saying, if, if it was a thing where Discovery asked for it, that's what I would want to find out. If Discovery asked for it, and it's a thing where John's like, oh, this was stolen. That's something we want to investigate. So we here we already have one justice system that's showing us they won't necessarily investigate because they're bent to the will of the mm -hmm. Ramsey power machine. And what's it's not a stretch for me to think that they learned whatever the Ramseys learned how to do and, and, and achieve in Boulder, they did first in Atlanta, where right. they were from. And well, now they're doing it, really doing it. And, and literally, the media could just cover this up and go like, "Oh my God!" Yeah, some well, they're like some CNN's Kmart right jewelry, to, some Kmart jewelry of Patsy's. When really, it's like that shit could have been like Versace. And that's also something I want to point out. It's funny that John told them that it was Kmart jewelry, right. where it's like he's out. Exactly. Patsy's Kmart jewelry, like he really wanted to drive home, that it was like nothing. But also, uh, exactly. I'm now imagining the scenario and how funny this would be, where if how terrible of a Karen Patsy would have been as a terror <laughs> in Atlanta, where it's like I will go to CNN headquarters, right? Yeah. They'll yeah. talk to me right now. You're gonna. Use your southern charm, <laughs> Darnell. You know, just like whispering to people, like, "Bitch, I did kill her." <laughs> it's before camera phones. I'll kill you next, bitch. <laughs> yeah. If you think I killed my daughter, what do you think I'll do to you? Give me my <laughs> fucking double cheeseburger, made the way I want it. I kill people every day. It's like, what Jesus. a tear. But yeah, so the the burglary, interesting. Uh, oh, not yeah. necessarily, you know, uh, you know, implicating him anything. But it's right I before mean, the deposition. That happened, it shows the little for us the little know. tricks they'll do. Yeah, yeah. And the timing, Especially in Atlanta. the timing is 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 feels like it's more than right. a coincidence. Just down the street from CNN. I don't think anything is a coincidence uh, with the, this case. Right. Well, that's why they were like, oh look, a people have broken our home. Do you agree with that, Donna? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> What's your thing? Where's your motto? My what? Is it your life? <laughs> She don't know she got no motto yet. <laughs> We're not going to say that. How is that relevant? <laughs> How is what relevant? You're supposed to contribute to the show, Donna. <laughs> I expect to hear more from you. Are you fucking you. stone? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. She's stone Christ. all the fucking time. Yeah, and? Jesus Christ. All right. Well, hey, so we also... We also got to speak with a Reddit user, how the F did I get here? Uh, a oh. wonderfully sweet person named Kat. 
oh my gosh, she's so nice. Yeah, and so we're gonna go ahead and we're we're gonna go ahead and start and. Well, I didn't get to speak to her. Yeah, Teddy, you weren't here because of some whatever. You've said like five different reasons now. You I was Donna. trying to find my hard pants, and I was trying to get there. And actually, I should have gotten a ride, but someone here was still concerned with, I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Like, you said wet clothes. clothes. <laughs> it's my life. Yeah, it's the perfect time for your catchphrase. It's just my life. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't matter. It's just my life. All right, it's your life. It's Teddy. Life. It's her life. Teddy, don't ever try to give her a catchphrase to say it again, because this is not working no. out. I believe in you. Teddy's trying to start a t-shirt business. Thought I believe in you, and I was wrong for this. Teddy's trying to start a t-shirt business. I wanted us to have some, you know, we got people, they love what we say. Oh, Donna. Donna's supposed it's to say. My it's my life. It's my life. life. It's my life. It's my life. It's on a t-shirt. She didn't even say it twice. She's so fucking stupid. <laughs> I can't so stand stupid. her. All right, Bobby, let's get the train back on the fucking rails. Okay. Yeah, that's probably, yeah <laughs> Shut up, Donna. That's probably no, for the Teddy, best. All right, cool. hey. So this is what happens when she drinks too much champagne and has too many raspberries. Okay. You, she can only eat processed food. And I did an interview with Kat, Reddit user, how did I after I get here? Yeah. Uh, sweet girl, and she's a John Did It person. And so I wanted to get her insights and find out, you know, before we jump into this episode, uh -huh. why John could have done it. Yeah, look at it from that perspective. I think that's a great idea, Bobby. I it love is. You. So we're gonna play the music now. <laughs> But yeah, wait, so first and foremost, uh, we want to ask, because we always ask everybody this, uh, did you do it? D did I do it? Did you do um, it? I mean, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, well, I was about five years old myself, so it could have been a bit tricky to pull it off. Okay. Uh, so no. Okay, that's that's fair. We just got to clear that out of the way right off the bat. Fair enough. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm very interested in discussing this with someone that's uh, a John did it, because it's uh, it's a theory that I don't know. I It seems one that I don't find is necessarily plausible but i'm definitely open tell me a little bit about yourself and then uh why uh like how long you've been doing because you've been doing this for a little bit now haven't you uh yeah i've definitely been interested in it for gosh i'd say at least like 10 years probably um oh, wow. it's like sort of a side project obsessively googling trying to figure it out you know when you can't sleep i'm new to this <laughs> exactly right yeah but then i figured i mean for the last few years i've definitely been thinking you know john did this i'm pretty convinced um, which isn't exactly the most popular of theories. Um, right. But I think there is a lot of compelling evidence that he did it. Um, so I guess to start, uh, the the ransom note, I always figured that whoever wrote the note, the likeliest scenario is that they did the murder, right? Um, right. That's probably more likely than having one or two people who are, you know, sorry, one person who does the murder and one person who decides to cover for them, which is, could happen, but slightly less likely. Uh -huh. uh, and that my biggest thing about Patsy not having done it is that she called 911 with the note. And I figured, well, if you're going to, if she, if she wrote the note and yeah. it's such an incriminating thing, why on earth would you call 911, right? And say, hey, here's this ransom note, knowing full well that you wrote it yourself. Yes. Um, that never sat right with me. <laughs> the crux of it for me is that I think Patsy, the finger was pointed at her from early on, right? With the handwriting. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a huge mistake. I think that John probably wrote, well, I think he wrote the note and that uh, his plan was to use the note to um, enable him to, you know, go out and dispose of the body um, without Patsy knowing about it. Um, okay. And I like she it. kind of, yeah, so she kind of put the, the kibosh on that by uh, calling 911 unexpectedly, um, which is why I think in the note you see so many things like, oh, really, like, don't call 911, don't call the police, she'll die, she'll die, all this. I right. don't think he's banking on her calling at all. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of why I lean towards, I mean, I could, could go on for ages, actually, that, I feel like. <laughs> that's, a, I mean, <laughs> that's actually a really good point. And that was something that I was actually also hung up on for a while, too. Yeah, um, yeah. I find it hard to believe that John, I don't know, wrote the note. Only because yeah. also in the way of, if he wrote it on that pad, why would he mm -hmm. turn that pad over to the police? So I think that's a good question. I've definitely got hung up on that myself. About that, the why would she call the 911? It, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't her idea to do that. She asked John, what do we do after he so, read the note? And he said, I, call 911. And she said, are you sure? That's what they, that's what John claims. So actually there's a documentary from way back in, I would say 2002 or something, um, where they're both interviewed and it was, it was a, shortly after the crime, obviously. Mm -hmm. And uh, Patsy describes that she found the note and she ran to call 911. And that's the one time that you hear her, it sounds it more that like, way. She, yeah, yeah. Um, so my theory is, that um, because if John if John was innocent right and um, wanted to call nine one one why not do it yourself why are you telling Patsy to do it right um, and in this documentary she does describe running to the phone now I think after the fact John probably being quite manipulative has somehow managed to spin it as he told her to call to try and make himself look perhaps less guilty 
Um, and as to why she called, I mean, yeah, because the note says obviously lots of look, we'll murder your daughter if you call. So it's obviously a good question. Like, why would you call 911? Exactly. Uh, because they do yeah. everything that they say not to do in the note. Right, right. I mean, well, I mean, yeah, I guess it would be, it would all be dependent on like which story they told was true. Like in their book, they do say the same events where it's he told her to call. And then there has been like uh, Burke in his uh, first whatever interviews or whatever. The one where he talks yeah. about how his mom was going psycho. He yeah, supposedly yeah. claims he heard that exchange, which is weird because yeah. his room's all the way upstairs. But he heard the exchange of his mom asking, what do we do? Yeah. So I would love to know what happened that morning because I feel like um, mm. like my theory is that Patsy, well, so my theory as to why John did it, I guess, would be that the evidence of prior molestation, the likeliest culprit of that is an adult male. Um, right. I think that night he either, horrible though it is, he either molested her and caused an injury that was too much to cover up, like she'd have to go to the doctor, hospital or whatever. Um, or she screamed out, um, and he, or, or he thought perhaps she was going to tell somebody, um, like they were going to see their extended family the next on that day, right on the 26th. Right. And maybe he was worried about her spilling what had been happening to, I don't know, her older steps, um, half sister or something. Right. Um, I think it's, he wanted to silence her from speaking about the abuse. Um, okay. and I think that when Patsy calling 911, I mean, my theory is I, I don't think Patsy knew, I don't think she ever consciously thought. John did this. I don't think she covered for him. I think she may have had her suspicions. When you look at like a, the, that year and she went to the doctor, I forget how many times it, that Patsy took her to the doctor. It, but was, it was like 28 times within the span yeah. of uh, like 18 months or something like that. Something like that, which is a credit, like it's a load, tons of time to take a kid to the doctor, right? Which also makes me think that Patsy is less likely to be the abuser because if you're abusing your kid, you're probably not going to take her to the doctor that frequently, right? That's true. Um, yeah, so my theory is that she perhaps had suspicions of what John might have been doing. Um, and like, sadly, as we know, unfortunately, a lot of mothers will bury their head in the sand about those things. Um, we do know as well on the 17th that she, there were three uh, calls to the doctor's office, John Bidet's pediatrician. Yes. Um, and, yeah, that was like after hours. And we don't know who made those calls. But my thought was that Patsy was getting more and more suspicious of something. Um, John, you know, things are heating up in the sense of John is th worried about getting caught. He murders her, has to cover it up. The next morning, Patsy finds the note. She can see we have your daughter. She perhaps didn't read the whole thing word for word immediately, mm -hmm. but perhaps the note didn't sit right with her. Perhaps she thought, you know, rather than thinking, oh my God, a foreign faction has my child. Perhaps she thought John has something to do with this. I don't know what's happened, but my kid's missing. John, I suspect John in some way. Yeah. So she walks to the phone. Um, and then I think it's interesting that she calls 911 and there's a there really quick response time, right? They're there within a few minutes. But she didn't know that. She might have thought she'd be waiting half an hour, an hour. Um, so then as soon as she's off the phone with 911, she calls the friends over, which says to me that I think she was afraid to be alone in the house with John for whatever reason. I think she had okay. Yeah, yeah. I think she had some suspicions. I think that's why she was so quick to get to the phone, because she didn't want to be alone in the house with him, um, obviously with her son, Berg. Um that, yeah, so that that's my thing. Do you theory. think then she ever approached those suspicions with him? Because like what you're saying, I, I mean, for the family dynamic part, at least of it, I'm on board with that because I think they're a family that doesn't talk. Like even after yeah, this yeah. whole thing happened, it's a thing where I don't think the question was actually broached with like it's yeah. not a it's just a topic they avoid. But I, I take that's yeah. true. Yeah. So but then also with the sexual abuse thing, I have a hard time with it only in the way of if because he was out of town a lot and it's a thing of yeah. like so patsy would have like if he was if this was like an ongoing thing yeah i would think i don't know if i was a predator i'm just saying in the way of like i wouldn't i would think it'd be weird to you know keep leaving your victim alone at for extended periods of times with the mom like she could have definitely technically told whenever but she could have yeah i definitely think it's high risk i mean it's, to do something like that is inherently high risk right mm -hmm. um i'm not sure how he would have manipulated her to keep quiet um but it, but it happens, right? I mean, we know know that happens sadly um, in a lot of families where people are able to get away with it and they never tell, you know, the other parent perhaps, right? Um, which is terribly sad. Um, but I think that's definitely, I would say, likely in this case. Um, and I think that with Patsy, like after she was murdered, if, if she, say, say she had suspicions before of that happening, then her daughter's murdered. The police show up that day. Any suspicions she had about John, well, at that point in time, as soon as the police are on the doorstep, they're treating it as a kidnapping. Mm -hmm. um, everyone's flocking around trying to, you know, hook up the phone for the ransom, um, you know, for the, sorry, for the, when the call comes in. Um, I could see her thinking, 
kind of burying those suspicions and thinking, well, everyone's taking this so seriously, it, you know, and you don't want to accept that your husband has murdered your child, Absolutely. let alone, yeah, let alone if you think perhaps actually if you'd been able to speak up sooner about your suspicions, maybe she'd still be alive. Like I could definitely see sort of burying that down forever, really. So, and, I mean, not, yeah, and I can see that on the flip side for yeah. if, you know, he thought she did it though, too, or that'd be the same thing where I don't think they'd bring it up. Um, I don't think they bring it up, but then if Patsy were to do it, I think like, you know, why would John cover for her? Like, I could see, like, I don't think, I don't think either would cover for the other parent actually. I could see him doing it only in the way of, he's got a certain family dynamic where he's not ever really there. Like he didn't even go yeah. with Patsy to her remission treatments. Oh, yeah, She yeah. flew by herself. And so I think it, I, he saw it as just a, and in my opinion, I think he saw it as more of like an out kind of thing where he doesn't really have to approach it. And now it's like, he could probably be even less around Patsy, especially considering this. Cause I honestly think they spent most of their time together on the little press tour that they yeah, did yeah. in the years following. Right. I feel like that's really where they spent a lot uh -huh. of time together, but I mean, yeah. I, I, I could, I could see it. It's, so it's, it's an interesting thing. Do you think that they just never then ever talked about it? Like you don't think she ever brought it up with them? Um, I don't think she did in any meaningful way. I'm sure she, maybe she had her suspicions and never confronted them, but I think, I think um, after, you know, everyone starts pointing the finger at Patsy, and that's really early on that they start doing that. Um, and if she was innocent, um, then she would be thinking, oh, my God, it's like a, you know, it's like a, a lynch mob after me, right? And mm -hmm. thinking, you know, at that point in time, then the only person she has, like, her confident, the person she can trust is John. She's got nobody else at that point in time. She's looking at potentially going to jail, a uh, prison for murder. Um, I could see them sort of almost becoming closer in that regard and thinking that, well, they're accusing me with no evidence, so... You know, how could it be John? Um, you know, it's like, That's, yeah. I, I guess, yeah, they're all focusing on me and not not my husband. Therefore, you know, they must. Why is that? Like, they're not seeing that John did it, I guess. That's fair. And you had brought up something interesting, too, in the message, too, about how not having a lot of like handwriting samples from John available. Yeah, yeah. Because that would be interesting to see. But like, I mean, so I, I don't know. So it's a thing where it's like, I mean, I, I assume because you've done this for years, you, mm -hmm. you've looked at the evidence of the note and you really don't think that it would point towards Patsy. Not um, even in the way of like John dictating it to her. Or do you think like uh, he set the note up for her to find? Uh, I think he set it up for her to find, but I think he wrote it himself. I don't think he dictated it to her. I think that um, when you look at, I made a post actually a while back about the handwriting analysis. And uh, it's really interesting if he's like, so very early on, I mean like a week or so after the, the murder, there's a headline in the daily camera saying um, uh, John Bonet's father didn't um, didn't write the note. Just super early on. Ew. And that, yeah, that's like his own spin team. So one of the very first things he did was hire two handwriting analysts. And that to me says, well, obviously, if you were innocent, why would you be hiring them? What could they, you know, it's just to eliminate yourself, it seems. Exactly. Well, and they had two different lawyers, too. So I could see maybe his lawyer thinking it'd be a good idea just to like, hey, just in case your wife did do it. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting that they eliminate John right off the bat. And then there's a little bit of doubt left for Patsy. <laughs> And I think like if you, and then if you, the, the people who accuse, the, sorry, the handwriting analysts who accuse her so like vehemently, like Cena Wong and there's a couple others, they were the ones who weren't actually analyzing it um, sort of initially. They were the ones who were doing it as part of the Chris Wolf case. Um, gotcha, okay. So they're not even looking at it from a sense of could John have written this? They're just looking at it of could Patsy have written yeah, this? Yeah, because they have to prove it for him to win that lawsuit, right? The Chris Wolf. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was... And then obviously there's that whole expert for hire thing, which potentially you see in, in legal situations, right? Um, so potentially pointed the finger without um, like sufficient evidence. Um, and I, I mean, I understand the handwriting. There are some similarities, it seems. But I mean, my thought was that if you're going to say, say you're John, you've just murdered your daughter, and you're going to write a ransom note. Well, you're obviously not going to want to write it in your own handwriting. Um, I don't. How how do you change your handwriting with just like a few hours on hand in the middle of the night, and you've just got like a, a pad of paper? Well, my right. thought was maybe he copied some of. He'd have access to uh, samples of Patsy's handwriting, you know, like to do lists, whatever. I mean, they live together. Um, perhaps he sort of imitated her handwriting, not too acute to make her look guilty, but just to not look like his own handwriting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I mean, and, and it, then, so, but and then that pad, then the practice note. So you think that then he chose, cause like, it's the differences that the practice mm -hmm. note starts with Mr. And Mrs. Ramsey. Yeah. And then it's just Mr. Ramsey. So you think that he did that too? What, I think, yeah. So to my, give him so, the time to go out of the house then? Yeah, I do. So I think that he changed his mind about Mr. And Mrs. Ramsey because he wanted it to be when, the next day when they all woke up, he wanted to be the one who's taking charge, right? And you can see that in um, 
how the note focuses so much on his business, so much on like, it's up to you now, John. Obviously, whoever wrote it wants John to take charge of whatever unfolds that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think if you read the, reading the note, it, like, it's kind of crazy, the note, right? But it's also quite well formed, it's structured. It seems to me that if, uh, it says, you know, uh, that um, the instructions seem to me to provide every single opportunity for John to dispose of the body mm-hmm. um, without anyone knowing about it, assuming perhaps he hadn't called 911. Because it says, you know, um, I, I think that it when it says um, we will call you for an earlier pickup, if you get it earlier, yeah. we'll arrange. Yeah, I mean, so and I, then people are, I mean, people can also argue the flip side of that, as it was Patsy trying to get John out of the house too. Yeah, but then with that one, I always think if if that were the case, what about Burke, right? If she wanted John to get out of the house and get the ransom money, well, obviously she's not gonna. I wouldn't have thought you'd send your nine year old son with him. So then, if she's disposing of a body and she's got her nine year old son in the house, that seems a bit almost well, impossible. And then I guess that would depend on whether or not who made the decision earlier on around like seven to get him out of the house. Um, Cause it was, a th- yeah. so it'd be a thing of like, she knew he was going to be out, but. Um, and, then, and then just the only other problem I really have with that, with John writing the note thing is yeah. why willingly turn over the notepad as a writing sample, knowing that you wrote the ransom note on it. Yeah, no, I think that's a good question. Um, I, my thought on that was when they asked for the handwriting samples, it would be far more suspicious if he wasn't to give them anything, right? That would be like, well, that's... Well, he gave I some mean, of his too. And then for Patsy's, he gave the mm-hmm. other pad. Yeah, but they asked, they specifically asked for the handwriting samples, which to me says, well, what are you going to do? You can't, you can't say, no, I'm not going to give them to you because that'll make you look really guilty. So I think he handed it over a calculated guess, hoping that, you know, it would make him perhaps look more innocent in handing them over. But they were going to get their hands on that handwriting either way. If he resisted, it would have made him look guilty. They could have got a um, search warrant for it, right? Handwriting samples. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess back to the note specifically, I think that uh, with the, 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 kid, the kidnappers, but <laughs> the alleged kidnappers, right. they say, I'll call him tomorrow, right? I, I think they meant tomorrow to mean the 27th, um, which I think gets lost a lot. A lot of people seem to think that the kidnappers are supposed to call between 8 and 10 a.m. on the morning of the 26th. Yeah. I think they I think they mean the 27th, one, because they say to be well rested, um, but two, because the, the banks wouldn't be open between 8 and 10. So how are they supposed to get to the bank, get the money, get home by, say, 8 a.m. to wait for this call? I think that they were referring to the 27th. The plan was for John to wake up, convince Patsy to leave the house with Burke, go somewhere safe, right? There's this foreign faction out there. Um, and then to go about disposing of the body. The thing about the attache basically allows them to leave the house with a bag um, probably the, full of... Yeah, the suitcase, never. maybe. Yeah, I don't think that it was, put, it was going to put her in the suitcase. I feel like you would say, you know, take a suitcase if that was the case, right? I think like, if you think of attache, attache it's like a briefcase, right? And right. probably had. Yeah, he probably had a briefcase or something for, for work, I would assume, right? He's a businessman. But then transfer think- it to a paper bag. Like, none of the case really yeah. makes... It's a weird thing, because, I, I mean, mm-hmm. that's why I feel like it could have been the suitcase in yeah. a way of they maybe tried to put her in there since some of the fibers were actually I think found. they might have tried, yeah. I think, I think specifically, though, he wanted to take the attache, and then the attache, according to the note, right, then they transfer the money to the bag, then the attache kind of disappears. I think his goal was to take an attache, probably one that he had for work, I would guess, being a businessman, um, put in there, I don't know, the rope, the duct tape, any gloves potentially, um, any other incriminating evidence, go out and dump that, get the money from the bank, come home, and then he's allowed himself a lot of flexibility. The, the kidnappers say, you know, if we monitor you getting the money early, we might call early. But why would kidnappers do that, right? Like <laughs> you have a child you've kidnapped under your possession the more risky it's going to get but Absolutely. he's if john yeah if john wrote the note then it means that he can kind of um play with the timeline however he wants right he can come home with the money he can finish cleaning up the house um you know and then he can have a good night's sleep it seems if he's been up all night um on the night of christmas night mm. and then on the 27th eventually the police are going to get called and then you've and then if things went his way then he could say well we had this there was this note um you know i i, I went to yeah, I had to we know did, that. Yeah, we did the right thing. We went to the police or whatever. Right, right. And I think in that scenario, it would be like John would have just disposed of the body and hopefully it would never be found. I think that was the goal, particularly when they live when they live right near the Rocky Mountains, right? There's a lot of um, remote enough places where you could potentially dump a body, I, I mm-hmm. think. I mean, and yeah. I also think, I think he would have enough money to be able to have somebody that could possibly help arrange that situation a little bit better. Possibly, like that Mike Bynum character. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, can you speak on that real quick? Just because that was so interesting when I read that this morning about their that relationship. 
Yeah, yeah. So I, it's fascinating, actually. So he was their corporate lawyer at Access Graphics. Um, and actually, it's quite interesting that so there's some this is purely speculation that's been on message boards from way back when. So we don't know for certain. Um, but you know how they the police, uh, Boulder police weren't able to get the phone records. Well, yes. and then there were, I don't know if, how much you're familiar with um, the fact that there was a couple who managed to get hold of the phone records and then they weren't allowed to use them. The police, it's kind of a weird side. No, kind of place. but I'm definitely oh. looking at that. Yeah, yeah. So basically, there was this, I forget their names now, but there was this couple who had this business and they basically tried to get their hands on the ransom note to, to I get to sell it to like media outlets, that kind of thing. And actually, he ended up getting charged with like criminal, um, like, yeah, interfering with criminal yeah, investigation. Yeah, obstruction. Yeah, obstruction. That's that one. would be the worst thing to happen in the case if it got rec like publicized that way, because I don't think it would be admissible, but. Yeah, right, right. Well, that's the thing. So the speculation back on the message boards back in the day, which again, grain of salt, right? But um, was that the the phone records, they did get hold of them, but they weren't able to use them, obviously, because of how they were obtained without a search warrant. But that the phone records indicate that John called Mike Bynum that morning prior to the police on his cell phone. You know, the cell phone records. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've always been so curious about that. Obviously, we don't know that for certain or not. That could just be a rumor. Um, so so actually, very... sorry, real quick. That's actually what I wanted to comment on the post this morning, but it wasn't there. Uh, if you look, there's a, what's it, the Haddon guy from that law firm? Oh yeah, Hal Haddon, yeah. If you Haddon. look at his, like he made like a little mini book about himself. Really? Yes. Oh, and I, cause I actually just saw that this morning when I was going, before I got to your post. And it yeah. was uh, in that book though, he describes him getting the call from Mike Bynum. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So I, I did know that Mike Bynum had called Hal Haddon on the, on the day off, they found the body. It was in like a couple of hours or so. Um, which, you know, some people will say, well, you know, it's been your right to get a lawyer to defend yourself, which mm -hmm. of course it is. At the same time, it's like you're not talking about defending yourself from, like, I don't know, drug charges or something. It's like, you know, you def the, the, the extent to which they went about defending themselves essentially hindered the investigation into the murder of their kid, which Absolutely. is what I find incredibly suspicious. Yeah. Um, and John organized all that. He was the one who got Mike Bynum involved. He was the one who then, I mean, Mike Bynum called Hal Haddon, but I assume John had some involvement in that, right? Um, which to me all speaks to somebody who's desperately trying to not get um, arrested, I would think. I, I, yeah, and I believe that because he, he took a lot of walks with him too on like the 27th. And he was like, Mike yeah. Biden was kind of like a social climber. And I think you even point that out in the post too, where it's like he was never yeah. invited to their dinner parties. And No, it seems like a, he was a corporate lawyer. I don't know obviously what their relationship was like at that point in time, but it seemed like they became closer like during and after the case. I mean, now they like live in the same town as each other. That's what I found uh, fascinating. I didn't know that. It's just really interesting how they stay like thick as thieves, right? <laughs> That's crazy. Did you see he's going to be at the crime con thing they just announced? I did. Blood, like, why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to try to go. Oh, you're going to try and get a question in. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're on um, something. We're going to do whatever we can to get in there. But we sent a, we tried to get, we're trying to do a, like a press pass thing for it if we can. But if not, we might have to cover over like the $400. Yeah, no, I, I hope you can. Because I actually went, I got the, um a couple of years ago, I needed one. And I got a, I got the virtual ticket where you can like zoom in, right? Oh my God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it came to load for the, the thing, the question and answer session. And they booted everybody out who was viewing it from online. They were all just booted. Um, so you could only then later watch the recording. And so wow. I don't even know what that was about. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah, um, definitely. If you're, yeah, if you're down to chat again. Yeah, definitely. I, I love talking about the case. It's, okay, perfect. It's such an odd niche interest. It's nice to find people who are also interested in it. <laughs> yeah, well, I was also, I was really surprised by the Reddit, the subreddit turnout where there was mo well, most of the people there thought John did it. That was like the overwhelming percentage of that, but. Yeah, it's definitely, I think the tide's turning a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's the most plausible explanation. I could talk for hours about why. <laughs> but uh, right. yeah, I just hope that, some, I hope one day I know when he dies, maybe something will come out. Thank you again so much, Kat. I really appreciate you. Yeah. And we definitely want to have you back on sounds good yeah i'd love to thanks all right you, hey, you have a great day you too bye mm -hmm. yeah. oh. sax music it's for you sax music saxophone is just so mm -hmm. fucking sexy I was just it, uh, shut up donna oh is your mic working this time donna you know she is single-handedly <laughs> trying to sabotage the production quality and Look. the reputation of this podcast Teddy. She, right, right, right. it's my life all right it's my life oh now she has a now she has a now you know the oh, catchphrase <clears throat> when your mic now works she has a catchphrase yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and do me a favor and kill you. Whatever. Okay. All right. All right. Well, so, hey, Kat, uh, thank you so much again. That was Kat. a great, great interview. And honestly, you know. Oh, my I God. Could, I could see it. I'm she still, brought up know. good points. Oh, absolutely. She said things. Uh, Donna, don't speak. She said that. Okay, you can speak. 
No, but <laughs> yeah, the point being is that a cat said some interesting things because this is a, this is where I'm at. Mm -hmm. Like the the idea of John uh, single handedly killing John Bonet. Uh, killing her, be, not just covering up, but killing her. Mm -hmm. It's not something that I immediately, uh, I don't think my mind necessarily naturally just goes to. Right. After all, <laughs> the details and the, the facts and the theories and things that we've uncovered. Now, I'm really, right. I, I haven't been doing it for 10 years, like some people, but I have a 10 times more powerful brain. <laughs> and so uh, I've proven that. Yeah. It's a damn thing that's a medical fact. Okay. Doesn't mean that I use it the right way. Anyway, but the point being is that uh, she made clear um, how the F did I get here? Cat. Mm -hmm. She made pretty clear to me that if I were to uh, visualize how that happened or what, or possibly, you know, some events where John is in the place of someone else I may have pictured. Yeah. That, like, how, how, what are the, what are the circumstances that may, may be, you know, making that a reality? Exactly. Like, like, like Patsy, like, may, like I can see how Patsy could be afraid of John. Like, we always hear about <laughs> how she keeps the kids away when he's, when he's home. And also that she's, you know, maybe not satisfying him sexually with the sour penis. But she wants to. Allegedly. Too. But she wants to. She too. wants to, but she she wants to be seen as enough. That's you know? what I'm saying. She but, wants to be seen as Jennifer Lopez as enough. I don't see her as afraid. Yeah. But I don't see it as a thing where Patsy's like, she's learning how to, she wants to learn how to blow John because otherwise he's going to hit her. Well. I see it as a thing. Well, it's like, yeah. John's just always like walking into the other room right, or something right. like that. And I just want him to, and I see that keeping the kids away is more of a thing of like, she was really just trying to make him happy. Like, yeah. don't bother dad. I mean, John. We are on the edge right now. Right. Because like, so like, like John could be going to, uh, going, leaving for other cities for work mm -hmm. and then staying longer because he's, he's adding some recreational activities mm -hmm. there. And she knows that, like, no, he could have been gone for two days, but instead he was gone for five because mm -hmm. he was plowing that Nova Scotian pussy. Oh my God. I'm not dying. And then it's on, on top of that, that's the same thing. If he's uh, always gone all the time. And I said that in the interview with him. Oh, yeah. I just find it harder to believe, like, a diddler would, you know, mm -hmm. it's very, that's very cocky to, like, you know, do that uh -huh. and then just leave. Yeah. Like, to be gone for extended periods of time right after, like, you know, your, your daughter's still wet with your hate, Jesus. your evil. But yet, not like it couldn't happen too, because it's you know sexual abuse. I mean, it happens it all happen. over the place, and right. that's also something that we want to make sure we acknowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, Donna's Donna, you know, you said you, I, you go ahead and tell them what you wanted to say. It's oh, my life. Oh God, you stupid <laughs> idiot! I can't say you. No, the point being that like <laughs> like three out of five kids in the industrialized world are like assaulted at some point in their life by an adult, and a lot of like one out of five are kind of like that, or like you know four out of seven. I don't know. Uh, like, uh, they, they, like an adult or like a family member, like, or you know, it's just, it's pretty common. It's not common for everybody. It doesn't happen to everyone, but that's the thing. Right. But Some, like, uh, if, it, if it doesn't happen to you, maybe it's hard sometimes to picture that it can happen to someone else or that John Ramsey was doing it. Yeah. Uh, but like the pederasts, is they have like a tie. Like, you know, like they what? don't just do oh, it what? once. They don't just do it once. And it'd be weird for him to just like only like. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody's anybody saying he did it like, just right. once. I don't think they're saying he did it just once. sounds like an Italian meal. I mean, it just like, it, I don't it know. Sounds it's Polish. Like, it's like muscles. Sad, sad. <laughs> um, about the dirty people. So, um, I like that your initial reaction was with, when him asking Donna, what do you got to say about said, sexual abuse? <laughs> <laughs> was, it's my life. It's oh, my wow. Life. Uh, you don't know where I've been, okay? You don't know her life. That would have been a better that's catchphrase. Right. You don't know where I've been. <laughs> you don't know where I've been. Everybody. Uh, Instead of hey, that's my life, that's my life twice. You need a better marketing Tell strategy. us the things you dislike the most Anywho, about Anywho, sexual assault. We're going to talk about serious. that in the next family. And it is, it's very possible that that could have been happening. But I also like to think, you know, it doesn't have to have been John in the family that was the one that was Oh my God, it could have been a different family and, member. And it should be known also. It's like, you know, again, her hymen was not broken. Mm. John Bonet's hymen was not broken. Yeah. It was uh, retracted, mm -hmm. is what they say. And that's like normally like it's when it's responding to a poke. I know we brought that up before, but it's or important to know. Like somebody's. Yeah. It's kind of like something that you or would find in a uh, Great Barrier Reef, uh, like an anemone, where it's or like if you corals, were to move, and even corals. the currents of the water nearby, like sometimes they like shoot back in. The little, yeah, 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 they pop back That in. is a great It's like a Sarlacc pit there. from Return of the Jedi. No, because it doesn't retract. I like the first oh, one. Okay. It was more like a jellyfish. Yeah, it's or like, like an octopus. octopus. It's like an octopus. Yeah. Or the whack and roll. Nope. Jesus, Donna, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm talking about a little girl. Have some respect. Right. We're going to turn your mic off. Jesus. Yeah. You know what? Go ahead and um, go ahead and fuck up your mic again. Jesus. I can't fucking believe her. So, but, you know, okay, Shut so up. it is possible, uh, you know, that he was sexually assaulting Could it. be possible. Could be that like, any other member of that family was also doing it. And sometimes the moms mm -hmm. do it, too. Not well. Yeah. Sometimes, no, that, that reaction, Bobby, is exactly why it persists. <laughs> because people don't think that moms will do it, too. No, but I believe it. I'm you just, see that Victoria Soto girl? 
Disgusting. You ever I'm seen Precious? Disgusting. I'm thinking in the context of this fucking case. So yeah. Like, oh yeah, that Patsy Ramsey. No, I don't think she did. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so then we also got it's like we got to look at John writing the note like we, yeah we got to look at John writing the note but real quick Bobby yeah. real fucking quick we also have to look at the the idea that because because Kat brought up a really good point yeah about most moms that if they their daughter was like had um it, they care about the kid so they're gonna make sure they take them to a doctor and John Bonet went to the doctor a lot. Yes, so that could, so if I were to think like a regular mom would think, you know, nah, 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 mm-hmm. but the idea that there would be like, I, like taking John Bonet 20 times or something or 30 times to the doctor, it maybe not be born out of like a concern considering that John Bonet's pediatrician is the same pill mill guy who's given Patsy fucking volumes. Right. After yes. John Bonet died, it's yes. the same guy. It's the same wow. guy, Doctor yeah. Beef, Doctor Booth, Doctor Booth, Booth, no, Doctor Booth, 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 yeah, Booth, 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 Booth,
Yeah. And that guy, I Corporal read. Corporal knows about them's lawyers. I read his little, he has a little biography uh, thing that he made about himself, which oh. is insane. But he has a chapter on the Ramses. So it's like a thing where he's oh. like, I was out skiing or <laughs> we were doing like snowshoes or some stupid shit out. Oh. So it's like, I was on holiday with my family at the time when I got the call, but we got back into town as soon as we could kind of thing. Oh my like, God. And but so so he was there he was there early and yeah he was someone that John would then also have reached out to well and he basically he was trying to get in really good with the Ramsey family which yeah. is still I mean and he and it looks like he kind of did okay so, well what do you mean because well she uh, highlighted also in this post about how the uh, Pasta J was this guy who had a restaurant in Boulder Colorado Pasta J mm -hmm. and he had some sort of agreement it looks like with John because something because they had that seven thousand dollar check. Which we'll put up the video of it. This man's name is Pasta? No, huh? no, 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 no. Wait, wait I'm done. I'm sorry. He goes by Pasta J. Pasta. He's got a restaurant? He's got a restaurant, yeah. Oh, it's probably an Italian restaurant. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, Pasta J got... Oh, Pasta J gave John Ramsey a $7,000 check. Or John Ramsey had a check for Pasta J. Yeah, his name's Jay Elowski. Jay Elowski. Elowski. Sounds more Polish than Italian, but Yeah. Uh, but maybe, well, but Polish John, pasta. So John Ramsey and Mike Bonham had loaned Elowski money for his restaurant business. Oh. And then you can see the actual check in the crime scene video. We'll put a link to the post in the description, too, because this is a great post. But then uh, for approximately eight weeks in January of 1997, John, oh. Patsy, and Burke, and both Patsy's parents and two sisters lived with Jay Lewowski in his Boulder home. Oh. When they were like bouncing around from houses. What? Because they never really went back to their one house. Yeah, when it's like whenever they're gonna be in Boulder. Because yeah. they were mostly in Atlanta. Oh. But, but so they stayed with Pasta Jay and Co. for a, a couple months. Right, right, right. And then so, and then oh. that's the thing is like, uh, was it uh, Mike Bynum is like his, the names on all these business licenses for yeah. these things. And uh, now current, present day, because that's day. what I was originally looking up. Uh -huh. John lives in Moab, Utah. Where Moab, he, Utah. Moab, Utah. Moab, Moab Deed, Joan Two, mm -hmm. Timothy Chalamet is his name. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And he he's the president of Red Tails like flights. They're like a touring flight company that go, it's that they're like marketed as being like, one of the only ones that are cleared to go over certain parks oh. in the area oh. or whatever. But he's just like, the president. He's not flying them. But John. he offers, he's got a company out there in Moab, Utah. Which is where Mike Bynum's from. But he also, Mike Bynum now just lives out there. He, Mike Bynum lived in Boulder for a while. Oh, wait. So Mike Bynum is from Moab, Utah before he ever lived in Boulder. Mm -hmm. And now Mike Bynum and John Ramsey Live are in living Boulder. in Moab. Yeah, where also Pasta J is too. Shut and the fuck up! up. Get <laughs> the Pasta J, Pasta J, Pasta J. They she, all live out. Oh my god! In Moab, Utah That's now. Weird. What are the odds of all these these three? Are they on like a commune together? No, they just but they own like Mike Bynum's names. I guess is on John's uh, Red Tail business too. Oh, as well as like basically like the you know. And don't, don't John also like do like a lot of real estate stuff too? I think it's more of like just remodeling shit. Is it you know? remodeling? Yeah, like always rebuilding and shit. I, I mean, because I would think if you were around changing Utah, building you'd be codes. buying a lot of land. I would buy land in Utah. And you, especially you got three men and you got all these LLCs swimming around. Be way easier to kill a child out there. I mean, absolutely. fucking lutely. Absolutely. If somebody needs to go out there, my Can you imagine if they actually were just trying to get rid of it? It's like, all I got to do is get her to a plane. No, dump man. her over. I know. <laughs> dump her off the plane. Oh, shit. Just low flying over a field in Missouri. That's Whoa. fucking crazy. Whoa, that would actually be a great way to dispose of it. If That's you were a pain level. Because then it's so confusing. Like, oh my God. Tracks leading uh -huh. to and from it. No one's going to be like, it was dropped mm. out of a. God, I'm wow. going to save that for a movie, actually, because that's fucking great. Well, you just told the entire world. Yeah, that's fine. But that's great. Jesus. That is so crazy. You just gotta get her body stuff. to the plane. Yeah, you just gotta get her to the plane. Get her to the plane, John. Get her to the plane. And maybe in that hour and a half, he went to the airport uh -huh. and dropped his case off to the pilot <laughs> and had him fly back to go get John Andrew. Well, was and them. it the baggage log like mm. botched or whatever? Like, well, not necessarily for that. Okay, we don't know if it had anything. Like, this is like... this is four years later. We don't okay, know. Okay. So thank you so much again, Kat. We're gonna get her back on. Oh too, yeah, because she was lovely to talk to. Yeah, and you guys gotta meet her. Yeah, you guys yeah. got to meet her too. So thank you. So because it definitely made me think differently. Like, mm -hmm. like even the idea of like, what if with the ran like, uh, well, that well, there's the, we got to talk about the note, the ransom letter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I don't want to believe that John wrote that ransom letter. That's like, true. His handwriting. That's right. Because she said that too. She cat had. What she say? What she? Well, it was the thing. Is like so. It's like, and when we did the Reddit poll, how we found uh -huh. it, we asked everyone. It's like you know, who do you think killed her, and who do you think wrote the note? Yeah. A lot of people were John killed her, uh, and that John wrote the, or that Patsy wrote the note. Oh yeah. With John dictating or something like that. Uh, she was very much John killed her. John wrote the note. John wrote the note, which you don't see very often. And honestly, I mean, 
until we have done our own analysis, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe it might be different than from hearing it, but in the actual process of all looking at the things, the letters, comparing this stuff and everything, and talking about it, and talking about it on here, and talking about my office. Getting a good bird's eye view. Getting a bird's eye view, getting a turd's eye view, too. Yeah, zoom in, zoom out. And what we found was enough that I thought, no, Patsy, I know for fucking certain. Like, I would bet something important on it, but I don't got much left. Uh, I bet one of Bobby, Bobby's kidneys. Um, the one that he still has. That the the ransom letter was written by Patsy Ransom. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and maybe yeah. and maybe yeah. in some universe, and maybe this one. I don't know. But maybe John dictated it. I'm not quite sure about that. But 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 Kat I can see that way more Kat likely than John. John Rantha wrote the letter, which it's it's an unpopular opinion. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I like mm -hmm. that I, that she was able to you know back it up. Mm -hmm. I just I have a hard sure. time wrapping my. I respectfully my disagree. Right. Oh, that's sweet of you. But so that's the point here. We wanted to look at this isn't really as much as like, you know, what he we all know they did really weird stuff. And a lot of us very much believe they're very complicit in the cover up. But oh, yeah. we want to look at like the hard facts against John committing the murder, like oh, yeah. what what they are. Yeah, we're going to do that for everybody, too. Mm -hmm. And like for me, it's like him. He doesn't have a lot when we're just looking at the actual crime. Uh -huh. It's like we got a lot of people. That's the sexual abuse. And we kind of already touched on that earlier. But it's it's, it's I don't know if that is a hard fact. I mean, but it's a thing. It's the only thing that really, uh, because of that being a uh -huh. thing in the case in people's minds where they're like, oh, they were sexually abused or she was raped, which mm -hmm. is like, you know, you're just hearing buzzwords where mm -hmm. it's like, you know, this is more just like a digital penetration. Mm -hmm. Could be from Burke, too. But when people hear sexual abuse, that's where most people's minds turn to. Yeah. This is John. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. that's the main yeah. thing really against him. And then the only other thing. male in the room. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and frankly, I mean, if I, 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 well, maybe, maybe there are details that are suppressed, you know? Right. Maybe there are things where it's like, here I'm going like, well, if I saw, if I saw like some evidence of like certain medical records or whatever, but what if, I mean, if, if your pediatrician is also your drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. Then what's to say that those like drugs, those records. Cone of silence. I mean, that would explain oh, the cone of silence it, among the neighbors, you too. Know, if they were all, you know, they mom's all gone bad. So. Oh my God. It's like right, almost like a. Mom's gone bad. Mom's gone bad, which was owned by John's company. Mm -hmm. right, it's like, what if that was a front? Oh my God. Exactly. Right. Be a front. Yeah. That's right, Donna. What if it was? I, I don't, and that's the thing is, I don't believe John being that complicit in a the pill mill operation of it. I think that's Patsy's own little thing. Patsy's thing, you know. But we'll talk about that a lot more when we do uh, her episode. But uh, the like really the only other thing that points to John in this case too is the knots, the but knots, that, the Don knots, mm -hmm. Don knots from Three's oh, Company, the knot, Mr. Furley, the sailor knots, and John was a rigger, oh, sailor knots, and he tried to yes. downplay his knot knowledge, the knots, very suspiciously. So yes, he was like, oh, yeah. like it, we we remember from his Naval Academy yearbook mm -hmm. where it said that he was like great at like jury knots. rigging, jury rigging, mm -hmm. jury rigging. Jeopardy. Not Gene Hackman. No, yeah, not Gene Hackman. John Cusack. Not the verdict. Not, not the runaway jury. Runaway no, 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 no. This is nuts. No. He, he and John wishes he was Gene Hackman. But instead he's a hack. And this is a case where he was trying to suppress anything that was inconvenient about himself that could be related to anything that occurred or any uh, evidence left or con under consideration with this crime, including the fact that there were knots. Mm -hmm. There was a knot around her neck, a rope, mm -hmm. and then there was a knot around her wrists and her feet, mm -hmm. right? And like, like she couldn't move. Now, the facts don't lie though, that John ha had a sailboat, he had a, they had a boat in Lake Shanabane, mm -hmm. and also that he <laughs> was in the Navy and he knew how to do knots. That, exactly. was, his, that was like his major. Right. So that this man knows how to knot. <laughs> his major. And, 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 <laughs> the, and whoever had John Bonet's access to John Bonet, they had not. And the, the access is another thing that I guess that would be important to highlight too in this uh. case because John is technically the last person that was going to bed. Oh. Supposedly, according to their version of events. Oh, right. It was he stayed up with Burke. Yeah. And then once he put Burke to bed, possibly with a flashlight, mm. thanks, Dr. Phil. We don't know what the fuck that was all about. Yeah, where's that from, Dr. Phil? <laughs> fucking weird thing. And I, I think your dad had said he used the flashlight that night to put you to bed. And then you snuck downstairs to play. But then it's a thing of then he went to bed. Uh -huh. And Patsy was already in bed, supposedly. At that point, after you put her to bed, what, if anything, did you do? Um, I went downstairs to get Burke in bed. Um, he was putting together a little plastic toy that he'd gotten for Christmas. And, uh, I helped him finish it so he could get off to bed. And we did that. And uh, then I went to bed myself. Patsy was in bed before I went to bed. Oh, she was like reading some stupid shit. Which is interesting. Because John also takes all those 
the medicine. But remember that John said that he took that, me not Metamucil, what is it called? Melatonin. 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 And, but when he was then doing the deposition for that wolf case in Atlanta years later, that was also set out to try to prove that Patsy was a killer. The Atlanta During, robbery, yeah. Yeah, the Atlanta robbery occurred days before. And then, which is why I think like maybe the flight, flight logs from around that time were in there. But, cause they certainly wouldn't be anywhere else. Mm. Um, but the, also the, that the, 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 when he was recorded and there's a video and we might've played it, I don't remember, but that they made, they, they had to remind John of some of the things, some of the parts of his story that he had told over and over. Like, like John was yeah. like, he did, he was very, he was very cagey with that interview. And he, and we did talk about this a little bit, like how, how, how not warm he was compared to like talking to Lou Schmidt. Remember in the John episode? Yeah, yeah, because he was very annoyed that he had to be there. Because I but, think they were yeah. trying to get excused from it, honestly. Probably, and but then like the but then you had like the lawyers for the opposing counsel, the opposing counsel people, Wolf's lawyers, where they were like, oh, and then you took melatonin that night, right? He's like, yeah. And then you and he's yeah, like, and oh, you yeah. read, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, yes. but, but John yeah, volunteers yeah. that information I'll all play the that other clip. time. I'll play that clip right uh, here. When you say you went to bed yourself, do you remember um, exactly the sequence by which you prepared for going to bed that night? I think I took my clothes off, brushed my teeth, put my pajamas on, and crawled into bed. It's... Did you do anything else? Not that I remember. Uh, did you um, um, use anything to help yourself go to sleep? I took a melatonin tablet. Do you know the um, amount of melatonin you took? No, it was an over-the-counter mm. tablet. Was it a single tablet or half a tablet or two uh, tablets? I think it was a single tablet, as I recall. Um, do you remember the brand? No. Um, do you know uh, or remember whether or not you read anything before going to sleep? I read for a few minutes, I, as I recall, before I turned the light out. That's really good. Yeah. But yeah, no, that's and that's he does do that all. So the maybe time. he actually didn't take melatonin. Mm -hmm. We or, can't trust their version of events. We can't trust. That's the thing. We can't trust a, not a word. Because it's not a case where they're gonna lie about, you know, at a certain point, and then there's a cutoff. Mm -hmm. No, if you're gonna lie, then you like about one thing, then you know it's That's pretty. You gotta analyze the lies. At some point, you can lie about every, anything, yep. and you know we almost gotta analyze everything that, from a point of view of is it a lie, and mm -hmm. then work backwards as to like how we know it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, these, you know, but that's it's tricky. It's tricky, mm -hmm. and it's sad because ultimately. In many cases, this little girl could have been killed and it would have been a tragedy and, and their lives would be changed forever. Mm -hmm. And how people even maybe, you know, talk about them, regard them. But at the heart of all this, I do believe is about a family that for whatever reason, didn't want to act on the truth or even tried to maybe do everything they could have to save her. But instead considered how uh, do they salvage and how do they set up and engineer a, a set of circumstances that protects them and all the things that they've been working and building towards because they are, you know, very self-centered. Yeah, they're respect. just trying to save their own assets. Yeah, yeah. So like, that's their only mm -hmm. concern. And, like, uh, you know, and then working, but, you know, yeah. and potentially probably maybe trying to stop themselves from being, you know, a mm -hmm. arrested. Right. And taken into right. jail, if right. not for murder, Selfish. but for like some kind of negligence. Right, and that's the thing. But we can't like this. The thing is, we can't focus on just what they did after, because like no matter what, yeah. afterwards, like objectively, I don't even yeah. know how you could look at it and be like they didn't try to cover something up. You're or, right. So, yeah, but if you can yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. can you see John doing that? That was the thing of like, I mean, oh, no. if he took it down there, maybe right. like that's the thing. Why but, would like you know? It's not like she would suddenly if he had been mm -hmm. abusing her for years. I hate to say it like this, but like I feel like she would just see it as like, um, you know another day in the office you know what i mean mm. right. she wouldn't take this moment to try to like run away from him or force him to like have to hurt because he would have already uh like groomed her groomed her groomed exactly her. And, and she would have and you know especially with that amount of silence she, around yeah, it yeah she right. couldn't probably do anything is what she probably mm. thought and if you have a mom like patsy maybe you couldn't right maybe if you told your mom your mom had so much at stake too with everything right. that goes on in her and mm. a personal dynamic right. with her husband where it's like maybe like she couldn't do anything about it if she even if it was happening if she knew about it absolutely if she and if John Bonet ever said anything because a lot of times kids don't say nothing mm -hmm. and it's tragic and it's terrible right because they don't think the adults will believe them and right. a lot of times they don't a lot of times they don't I mean if she could have told Patsy and Patsy could have been in denial that's uh -huh. totally possible mm -hmm. too oh yeah if anybody could have been in denial I could say we'd be behind the Ramsey yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah queen of denial God, that's good. Did you invent that? You <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. All right. All right. But so we, I mean, like, so we we want to hear also from you guys. Like, yes. if, if you really think John did it, like, it's a uh -huh. thing of like, if there's some evidence that we missed. And again, this isn't about the cover up. 
We know like afterwards how they acted and how it's weird, but I'm looking for like stuff that's hard stuff that was mm. like this is you know John did it, and there's not much uh, because, that points to him. Because also like if John did it, then like let, like real quick like let's look at like let's say he he did it, he killed John Bonet around midnight or whatever. He never took his metamucils or his uh, melatonin, right? And and throughout the night instead he staged your body. He wrote that letter, and then he wrote that letter in a way where it was like, oh, maybe it took Maybe my wife point, did it. We, we, maybe my wife did it. But also to Cat's point, like, I want to buy myself time for Patsy A, to, a for Patsy not to call the cops on us and, right. and fuck this whole thing up. And then B, for me to possibly arrange flights or whatever the fuck, because the fact the that we don't day. have those phone records, that's also almost like a, um, a mission of guilt by, like, in my mind. Like, if you're hiding stuff like that. Right. Then there's then then there's some sort of consciousness of guilt, sure. you know. Otherwise, you would just volunteer it. Um, it. Would it would it show that there were phone calls being made the entire night, and yet we were supposed to believe that for some, even if it was a couple hours, these people slept, mm -hmm. you know. But anyway, but then also maybe that letter had like almost like a typo, not like a typo, like in the fact that it has the typo of the word possession, where it's one S instead of two for the first S's, be like 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 in that play, the Pirate of Jim Barry, mm -hmm. but. What if it was like he meant that the note was supposed to like the deadline was the 10th a.m. on the 27th, not the 26th. Right, the next a.m. And that he was actually supposed to have more time so that then he could have maybe like put a body in a little thing under the pretense that he was going to get this cash and then come back with the cash. But he doesn't have to worry about the body anymore. Maybe he could even take it to the plane. I don't know how these circles fucking run. Right. But then like then by the next day, it's like, OK, John got a lot of good rest. Like the letter was like, make sure you get a lot of good rest, John, blah, blah, blah. Like he's almost like, Patsy, goddammit. Like, I know I'm scared too, but I need to get to bed by 7.30 tonight. Why would right. they care about Because the kidnappers told me to. Why would they care about John getting rest? Why, why would they so, care like, about That's not what happened. So Patsy, also, Patsy bungled it. Is and, what... But also, well, I, yeah, I think I'm kind of on the mind too. But also, it doesn't make sense then where they get a letter on the morning of December 26th. And then it's saying, John, get some rest before we call you in a few hours. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, Where right. it's like, and maybe even if Patsy wrote this letter, maybe she meant December 27th. Oh, it doesn't say well, a few hours. Well, I, but it's still saying get some rest. Yeah, they're not yeah, saying yeah, get some rest thing, yeah. after you just woke up from a night of sleep. Yeah, well, it's also like it when somebody in the me. night could have found the letter, like, that's the thing. It's like, yeah. That's true. They, they don't could've. know how long it was. And out it's like, okay, like, like, wait a couple more hours. Like, wait till the sun breaks or some shit like that. But also, like, but then, and look, this idea, Patsy, like, instead bungled up the plan completely and was like, oh, I'm going to call the cops, even mm -hmm. though we've also heard. That it was John who said that Patsy should call the cops. Right, but right. also, we just said she fucked up the whole thing. Be, like shit, everything should be right. should be um, uh, investigated because it's like we're just trusting what they're saying. And then, so then right. that morning though, and after they do that though, then Fleet, it's the thing of like once mm -hmm. Fleet's like, oh, I'm gonna go get this photo developed. Yeah, and he leaves. That's when John's buddy, John's buddy leaves, and that's where John's missing hour and a half missing, thing that uh -huh. morning starts. Yeah. From like 10.30 until noon. Noon, yep, which was around, I mean, Fleet, it said, they said it took him about a half hour to 45 minutes before he returned. Mm -hmm. So, but there was a thing where Linda Arnett noted John was gone. So it's like uh -huh. maybe whatever got bungled by Patsy and that uh -huh. missing, you know, hour and a half is what he was trying to fix. Maybe that's when John was like, fuck, I have to stage this as a crime scene. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what? Let me break this window or like pretend he tries that to go to the plane uh -huh. and then actually brings it back. <laughs> 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 He's like, God damn it. I knew I forgot something. But anyway, but like, but a lot of that stuff then still tells me that like it could be like the Ramseys, not necessarily just John, or I don't necessarily, I feel like I could have been swayed if there was more evidence of John Bonet even, even from her autopsy, showing that she had, and I'm not an expert in, in assault. Uh, one day, maybe, no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> I'm not an expert know. in assault, let alone <laughs> child assault. And it's like, it doesn't sound to me, like I would imagine like, you know, if, if it showed sexual assault, if like, a kid had been raped, yeah. Like there, right. would there would be more, yeah, evidence. You could tell. Yeah. more evidence. Well, that's right. the thing is, like, it's a thing in this case where, for me, again, and I have said this before, but for me, it's like the the jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams in this case thing, uh -huh. where it's the distraction. Where once you get focused on that and you really think that there was some sexual abuse because you just mm -hmm. hear that, yeah. you're automatically gonna think like the dad or mm -hmm. something like that's why people right. have a hard time with the mom. And it's the thing oh, of yeah. it's so distracting in this case that mm -hmm. it's a thing where it's for me, it's not. It's I think it's more part of the cover up. Uh -huh. The sexual abuse aspect of it, especially with the paintbrush thing, the DNA, where it's like somebody possibly was poking at it, or this is the fact that they'd showed signs from previous days, like this wasn't the first time, uh -huh. tells me that this is, could have been a part of the Burke's doctor visits. Oh, yeah. Which we'll definitely Which get, the housekeeper talked yeah. about. 
Yes, and we'll definitely get more into that when we do our how like doctor, the hard evidence. Doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of abusing you. Cooch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but the point being is that yeah, like yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. And also, 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 real quick, it's you, you right when the cover up sense because the Ramses are the ones who kept perpetuating that a pedophile did this. Right. Even despite the fact that like I would imagine, and I just I hate even thinking about it. But like that, like, there would be more damage or more evidence of like you know mm -hmm. what I mean, rather than just whatever we do have officially um, available to the public. But basically, like, so if the Ramses are keep repeating pedophile, I could almost see then how people thinking John was a pedophile could almost be like the other side of that coin of something that is a tangent that is away from more of the truth, where this mm. could have been, you know, if not a, not a pedophile, could have been someone who was still a child. Or if not a pedophile male, could have been a pedophile woman. Or mm. it could have been a woman. That did it. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, so it's like a shiny thing over here, but then people think that because that shiny thing has a backside, that maybe they're discovering something. Right. And that's part of the calculation by the public relations firm. Right. Hell yeah. yeah. So mm. we want to, let's, uh, we're going we're gonna to take a little look if, like, you know, if John did do it. If you he know, did it. You're like, how, how it could have, how it could have happened. John, you're at the end post here. That's all you gotta do is just get in the bed. She's fucking out. Oh my god, she's still wearing the dress from the night before. I can change my name and just as many meals. Okay, I just get in bed. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you nailed it, John. Oh my god, you did it. Okay, you wrote the note. You got the body downstairs. You bought yourself enough time. It's gonna be, you know, they're gonna call not tomorrow, but the next day. That's clear. I think that's clear in the note. Is she talking? Man, I'll start a man calling me Gumpark. It's actually a really good idea. She's definitely out there. She doesn't. All right, so, John, all you got to do is just wait for Patsy to get up in the morning and find the note. Surely she's not going to call the cops because it says not to. That's clear. So, all right, just got to stay awake. Wait for Patsy to just wake up. It's a couple hours now. You can stay up, John. You can... No, you slept that You were slept. You were slept. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. John! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's a letter! Oh shit. Hold on. Wait. Oh my god. I'm gonna call the police! Oh my god. My breath smells. I'm gonna brush my teeth first. Hold on. Wait. What? What? No. Hey. Hold on. I'm calling them. I'm dialing them now. Wait. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. This is you and me, Patsy. Help me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Patsy. Patsy, what'd you do? What'd you do? Who are you on the phone with? I'm gonna call the people with the police. What? Yeah. What? There's a letter, John. Someone wrote a letter that can have jumped a day and they told me not to call the cops, but I called them. So you called the police immediately? I did. Oh, God, John, this is backfiring. Uh, yeah, no, Patsy. I, uh, shit. Okay, so you just called the police? Yeah, I just called the police, I promise. Okay, why are you flinching? I just didn't know, I don't know there's something about you, John. What are you talking about? John! Okay, well, uh, so I assume the police are on the way. We need to, uh, can you get, can you get the little shit monster, please, from upstairs? You're not gonna do anything to us, are you? No, I need to get him out of the house. You've really kind of fucked this the whole thing up. They're, they're probably gonna kill her now, honestly. I'm sorry, John. You I was supposed me. to have till tomorrow, or the uh, supposedly, you know. You. It says we'll call you tomorrow. We can still make it work. I'll sit in the sunroom, John. I'll sit in the sunroom and I'll weep. I'll let me call our friends. Mm -hmm. I already did. I'm sorry. Get the shit monster from okay. upstairs. Oh, 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 God, you're awake. Oh, oh, Burke, Burke, Burke. We gotta go downstairs, okay? Something's happened to your father. I mean, uh, something happened with your sister, John Bonet. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't think it was your father that what? did something to him. But just don't look at Daddy in oh. the eyes, Brent. Brent, Brent, I'm gonna grab your face. Look at me. Look at me, Brent. Do not look your father in the eyes. Yeah. Don't even breathe around him. Okay. Don't do nothing, Brent. Stop. Look at me. Put your hand on my heart. You feel how quick that's beating? Yeah, yeah ma. That's the terror I want you to feel. Okay. Because that's what's going on right now. Okay, Your father's probably okay. gonna kill us before the cops get here. Okay. Wait, come on, just, just come with me. Come with me. Okay. Can okay. I, can I, can I grab something? Yeah, but not my ass, you fucking weirdo. Okay. Go grab some of your other grab things. Grab my, my fire engine. <laughs> your fire engine. What, what the fuck are you? Three. Okay. Yeah, grab your fire engine. And your Game Boy or something. Let's get. Come on. Come on. Come on, Brent. Oh. What's going on up here? Oh, oh God. Uh, nothing. Uh, what? Just getting the shit monster, like you said. Thank you. Spot. Why is he looking at me? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Oh, hi. He's grabbing his fire truck. Ah. He didn't mean to look at nobody. Don't. Oh, Fleet's going to be here any second. Can you just wait outside? 
Actually, I have him wait out back. I don't want the cops to see him. I think I hear the sirens. I think they're coming. Oh, well, let's go downstairs. All right, Burke, get back in bed. Get back in bed. Quick, quick, quick. quick. Get back in bed. Get back in bed. You're supposed to be a father. Okay. They cannot talk to you. So that's not going to happen. John, you're pulling my arm. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, we'll be back, sweetie. Just pretend you're asleep when the cop comes in Your the mom's going to have an accident on the stairs. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I'm about to pee myself like my daughter does. Just don't don't have Fleet come in, please. Okay, I want have Fleet. Tell, tell Priscilla not to let Fleet in. Fleet's not allowed in. Yeah, he, will not, he will just stick to me like a bug. Oh, so. Okay, John, whatever okay. you say. Uh, here come the cops. Now, oh, great. Oh, hi, Fleet. Come on in. Where's Priscilla? Oh, yeah, no, you can leave your shoes on. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot. Ah. Hey, Fleet. Hey, John. I'm just here to offer Marsha a purr. That's great. Can you take Burke over to your house and then just kind of stay there? Yeah, officer, that's fine. Don't flee. Don't talk to come, me. Come, come on, Brent. Let's go. Wow, John, you've got a really impressive pineapple bowl. That's great. Fleet, is, do you have to stand right next to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting a little too close. I, I didn't brush my Oh, thank God. Here comes Linda Arndt. Detective Hi. Arndt. Yes. Hi. Hi. Any? Did you find anything? Maybe, hopefully? No. Do you have any pictures? Fleet, you definitely, you got some pictures right from the yeah. party last night. Right? Oh yeah, I'll go, go, you know what, I could, I could develop those photos, we could find yes, out. Yes, you should absolutely go do that. You should leave and okay. go and do that. Please. I'll go and do that, and I'll leave about an hour. No, 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 sure. just go now. Go, I now. go now, every moment counts. Okay. Yeah. Every moment counts, please go. All right, if please I have go. To, can I leave the crime scene, Lenore? Wait. I'll allow it. Okay, thank you. But bring them back. I'll bring them back, I'll bring the photos back. I'll be real quick, it's gonna take me like 30, right. 40 minutes. Perfect, that's perfect. Okay, uh, hey, uh, Linda, what's that? <laughs> Anybody want on smoothies or anything? Uh, wait, where did he go? All right, bye, everybody. Okay, John, you got the case. You're going to your car. All right, let's do this. All right, all we got to do is make it to the airport, okay? Get rid of all this evidence, case, and that's it. Hi, welcome to Harvey's. We got the meats. How, what can we get for you today? What do you want to eat? Uh, do you guys honor expired coupons? I got a two for six beef and cheddar. No, sir. No, sir. Not even for John Ramsey? Oh my God, so have you seen accident? Yeah, you heard, yeah, Mr. Ramsey. Uh, well, we, we, you know, just to use that, we're gonna get you the free curly fries too. Do you okay. like Yeah, and I don't actually have the coupon on me. Is that okay? That's perfectly fine. That's what I thought. Dr. Pepper, please. We won't look you in the eye. Okay, God damn these curly fries. All right, airstrip, airstrip, let's go. We got this, where's the evidence? I do not have it, fuck! Okay, go back, 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 go back. Uh, I got two beef and cheddars earlier, and they just were, they were kind of cold, and, uh... Is this where we've got Ramsey's? Yes. Bring the Ramsey's. My regular order, please. God, these curly fries are popping. God damn it, Fleet's back already. Oh, John, thank God. I've I, I got the photos developed, and um, there are a lot of Christmas photos. Uh, here, let's look at them together. You want to put your hands on this side of the photo, and I'll put my <laughs> hands on this one? Do I want to touch the photo? Just give it to the detective. Uh, give oh. me the photo. Just give me the photo. Okay, here you go, Miss Art. Dr. Tex Hi. Oh. Well, what are you doing, John? What? Um, what? No, I've just been I don't here. got anything I've been to do. Here. I've been, been here. You. Yeah, I just went and checked the mail from the door because it comes in the mail slot, so I didn't have to go to anywhere. It was just right there, but that's where I've been in the house. Oh, that's where he was. He was at the mail slot. Yeah, I, I was in the mail slot. I sure didn't see you. Nobody's, uh, no developments? No one's gone in anywhere? Checked anything down anywhere? I mean, I went and got some photos, but Lenar, is there anything that... We, maybe we should go check. Fleet, maybe you should go do more for Actually, can you go check on Burke or maybe, you know, somebody who's even watching him, you know? <laughs> maybe you should go check on him. Oh, uh, I guess if, uh, golly, John, if you want me to, I mean, your daughter's missing everything. Yeah, but like, you know, I don't know what help you're going to be. Where's your kid? Where's your other kid? Burke is over, Burke, Burke's over at Fleet's house. Burke's at my house getting talked to a police officer right now. I'm sorry, what? Huh? Search the house top to bottom. Okay. All right, let's start the right. You start top. I'll go bottom to top. That's right. I'll do bottom. That's right. I'll join you with I'm going to the bottom. Well, you let's start go, top. John. Okay. Get to do. I'm on my way in the basement. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Hart. Okay. Hey, Fleet. Do you see? Hey, wait. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You see Where's the that, window? John? You see the window? Let me follow your arm. You and see send the window? To your pointer finger, and let me see what that's pointing to. Oh, that window. Yeah, the window. It's, uh, ah. I actually broke that. You so broke that not, window. That's oh, not a part okay. of it. I was gonna say, what kind of so But special. do you want to look around? Let's see if there's more pieces of glass. Oh in there. my god! Look at this glass that's on this floor from when you broke that window months ago. Right, 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 oh, right. Oh wow! Glass just sitting on the floor while the housekeeper does nothing about it, and uh, nobody comes over. Oh, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't do oh, oh, oh my gosh! What is that? A paint set? What's underneath that? Some kind of light yeah. reflecting um, off. Hey, maybe you should check back there, Fleet. Oh yeah! Wow! Look at these movie posters. Hey, isn't it no. that you and Patsy Ramsey don't look at movie, watch movies? Yeah, we. Hey, no. isn't that movie a movie that maybe was in the ransom note? I haven't read it yet. 
Uh, yeah, maybe it was no, but just maybe like look at that door. Oh wow, mm -hmm. look at this Sears catalog, man. These are really good deals. Oh, it's expired. Yeah, put that down. Oh hey, look at this Kmart catalog. Oh man, these are but look even at like better the deals. door. Oh wait, this maybe these are it's the latch. I don't know if anybody's unlatched that. Normally people don't know that door's there. The catalog, this catalog is expired too, John. Oh, it's just something you might want to change. Some new catalogs in your basement. Oh, uh, that's okay. Hey, do you want to play a game? There's a lot no, of game boards around I, here. No, okay, Fleet. Uh, maybe check the. What is that? A train? That's why it's called a train room. Oh wow, Gee John, you got some yellow on your on your on your face. Oh, it's, oh, it's cheddar from the. RB. Oh, cheddar! Oh, from man. last night uh, from your party. Oh yeah. Or the RB, or... Wait, look at that door. We never cheated Arby's last night, did we? I uh, know that was an Arby's last night. I just haven't washed my face in a while because of you know the kidnapping. Oh, it's like a noxema. The it's a neutrogema. Uh, no. It's okay, just... well I understand what you're saying. Come hey, on. maybe check the door. Check the door. Which? No, I'm gonna. You know what? Fuck it. I can't do this anymore. Here we go. This door right here. I'm gonna check the door. John. Oh. Oh my God, John. Look at this. Flea, come touch her. Who is that? Come touch her. That's. Oh. Uh, 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 wow, she's cold. Yeah, I need prime real estate no more. Uh. Uh, all right, let's go. Get this is over with. Flea, just can you get out of my house, please? Uh, yeah, all right, move. move. I'm trying to kick. Can you walk faster up the stairs, please? I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Move. Oh, my God. Ew. Ew, ew, that ew. She's touching me. She's touching me. She's touching me. Oh, my God. She's, she's looking at me. All right, here comes Linda. Putting her down. Is she dead? What? Is she dead? Is, is she are, dead? Are we done? Are we done? Is she dead? Are we done here? Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Perfect. Oh Fleet, you can leave. Thank you. I'm going to leave. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, great. Be a good time. Uh, Patsy's going to find out here in a second. Here we go. Ah! Oh, here we go. Here comes the Patsy ah! Ramsey show. Ah! I'm going to go smoke weed in the garage. Ah, bring it back to life, God. Lazarus, Lazarus, JC, Penny. Lazarus, Lazarus, Macy's. Oh, it's not working. This has gone. Horribly wrong. It's terrible. Yeah, you fucked it all up. Thanks for calling the cops. Worst Kwanzaa ever. I'd have to agree. Oh, God. We wow, are so was, good. That was something. I mean, else. I'm impressed by us and not you, Donna. But Again, there's chapter links in the bottom, so you can skip. Uh, right, right. But I'm you telling put, you now, so it doesn't help. Well, <laughs> yeah. You already and, listened. And go ahead and go ahead and spread the word about the podcast. I mean, even if you want people to be outraged, I mean, we don't want you to be outraged. Right. And then we actually think <laughs> that we're doing this in earnest, in a good, like, faith. In right. Good intentions. But and we're still collecting yeah. questions from uh, last episode. We put up a form. Because we want to hear from you guys. We have a uh -huh. questionnaire basically asking, like, who you think killed her, who wrote the note, mm -hmm. and other questions on there. We want to hear from you guys. That link is down in the bottom. So make sure you uh, yeah. make sure you click that and answer. We're still collecting. We've gotten some good ones so far, and we're getting in contact with some of these people. Uh, there's a really interesting one that I, I saw that I wanted to highlight um, in regards to one of their neighbors, oh. where the person believes that whoever they killed him was the neighbor across the street, Glenn Meyer. Oh, my God. We haven't Glenn explored Meyer. yet, so we'll look into that uh, we'll look into that theory, too. So it's like, we, yeah, we want to hear from you guys, so please keep sending those in. Please keep sending them in. We love talking to you when we get a chance. And also, uh, you know, support us with our Patreon or um, by spreading the word or by liking and, and subscribing. commenting. Subscribing, yeah, subscribe and to subscribe, YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe. We really like the community yeah. on here. It's been really yeah. taken off. It's you know, great. You know, it's like, and, and frankly, like we're we're all in this together, mm -hmm. and this is something where it's a real opportunity for us to just really take the time to be thorough, to be open minded, mm -hmm. and also to be consistent in the standards that we're 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 holding all across the board. Right. In the sense that this is a case that has metastasized beyond one fatal moment. Uh, uh, that an innocent little girl mm -hmm. like ended her life. This is something that's also about just even the catharsis of of seeing what kind of uh, ways that people in, uh, have been uh, in the past, like um, that, didn't get a chance to have, like you know, their their voice be heard. And they did, and maybe it got lost because we're coming uh -huh. through almost thirty years worth of information. Media here. has changed. Yeah, right. we can spend. You know, it we're, should be revisited. We're mm -hmm. just like one of y'all's. Um, maybe I have got a few more disorders and conditions. <laughs> but the point being is that still, like, we are not the you know in the the C suite offices of the nose agent, like the um, yeah. Media we don't live down the street from CNN. Yeah. No, we've got we've got water bills and we got electric bills. <laughs> you don't have any water. Bills. I don't got no bill, but you got bill. Anyway, but the point being is, are you we're even just paying like Donna you. any money? Donna, I'm not paying that no money. Oh my god. Anyway, but okay, like, whatever. but we're just like you. So any support really helps. Yeah. And and you know, and we we really want we're gonna get down to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're I'm, I'm really proud. I'm really proud. I love everybody. Next I'll, week we're gonna do Burke. 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 Well, yep. maybe we're gonna say we're gonna do Burke. 
Maybe we should say like we are talking about Bert. We're gonna discuss. Bert. We're gonna discuss. We're gonna look at the hard evidence of, uh, with Bert. Look at all not not the weird Bert. behavior. Not you know like the little squirrel. We're gonna look at like what's there oh, that yeah. says yeah. Bert did it for sure. Well, so. not also and kind of visualize how he might have done it too, mm-hmm. like we did with John. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we're doing it with everybody in the family mm-hmm. in the in that sense. And right. honestly, I really want to get the one person who on the Reddit questionnaire yeah. uh, who had said Burke did it, and then Burke wrote the note. There was a lot of people that said Burke like did it, and then nobody said Burke wrote the note. Like that's, yeah. well, but there was yeah. one person, and honestly, that that might be the one person I want to talk to. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You know, I definitely got. I feel like Jennifer Lopez right now. I got to pee. Okay. Yeah, you do. But <laughs> I'm really like I'm proud of us. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think that we're finally a nothing, John Bonet. And enough, enough, and you know, and <laughs> nothing, and enough is enough. Enough yeah. is enough, enough is enough. That's right. That's what we're saying today. Yeah, yes. it's my life. It's my life. It's my life. <laughs> it's, it's now or never. Life. I'm stealing your catchphrase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's my life. You don't even know when to use it. Donna, you don't know how to use it. <laughs> you That's know Bobby's use. catchphrase now. It's his life. You don't got no life no more. Oh my Just God. like John Bonet right. don't have a life. All right. All right. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Right. Thank you so much for, for listening, everybody. We'll be back next week. So uh, let's let's go with it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, well, I'm Bobby Pavlovsky. And I'm Teddy Ronald Reagan. And this is John John Benet Benet Today. today.